All right. Uh, welcome to Amongst the Giants, uh, session 22, the Oracle of Anam. Uh, you guys ready to go over here? Yeah, let's die. Yay. Murder, murder, murder. murder. All right. Um, so last session, Kalidus was greeted with a bit of an unnerving vision of two very large blue dragons and the sounds of crackling lightning uh, that kind of echoed through his head uh, while he was running or keeping the overnight watch for the party. Uh, in his kind of uneasiness with all of it, however, he was greeted by a voice, uh, one referring to itself as Mariana, uh, and foretold of his plight and his part in what it referred to as its path towards redemption. Though only Kalidus could hear the voice and feeling that it may be coming from the banner that they got from Bingo, the party wished to examine it, but Kalidus was unwilling to part with it. But nonetheless, the party brushed it off and ventured forward, uh, taking the time uh, to break through the ice and get into Anam's temple. Uh, the massive statue depicting the All-Father residing in the room's center, uh, its hands reaching forward towards a glowing archway in the east. Uh, around him stood six additional statues that were known as his sons, uh, the statues of each paragon of giant, uh, from frost to cloud to fire. Uh, all, all six paragons of the giants are there. Uh, with their arms all reaching outward, as if giving him an offering, everyone except for Theorem, the Lord of Frost Giants. Uh, not seeing a way through the archway, the party would begin to start looking around for the Frost Giants' missing weapon and ventured south, again breaking through the ice, trying to get through the doorway, uh, opening it up into a very large gathering hall that was very well lit, and very warm uh, from a brazier in the center of the room that remained lit. Uh, though the disturbance would awaken the inhabitants of the chambers, uh, two remoras, uh, which kind of pegged the party as food uh, to kind of fend off their starvation in these frozen halls. Uh, but the beasts were mistaken, obviously, our party a little more ready to take care of this kind of situation uh, and immediately grabbed uh, the frozen great axe and returned it back to the temple uh, once back inside they asked harshnog to place the great axe back into the hands of its owner uh, but after doing so they were let down by the fact that nothing happened uh, the group discussed things for a bit attempting to decipher what they were going to do. Evandor would recall the runes on the bottom of the, the giant statue podiums, uh, and this led to some additional conversations, uh, one of which being to start with the lowest rung of giant and work their way up uh, to solve the riddle of getting through the gateway. Uh, so they would ask Harshnag to go over and grab uh, Gronlathar's, uh, uh Bone Great Club and bring it over and touch it to the Mithril Rune uh, on the archway. However, as he began to walk over to grab the club, Acarius and Hopper decided to venture north and began chipping away at the ice uh, that surrounded the doorways leading north. Uh, and then Harshnag returned and he extended the weapon outward towards the rune, pressing it to the inlay, and that's where we start tonight's session. What happened? <laughs> Are we all dead? Uh, maybe. I feel like you're channeling the wrong character. No, he would all be celebrating. Right. He would be celebrating. I can't take ass with my old friend. Okay, massive map and go. Cool. All right, 
So, has everybody found themselves yet? Still found searching. Something. If I remember correctly, me and Hopper were working on getting the ice off this. Correct. Yeah, we were working on that door. All right, you guys are here. Oh, I'm not on the right layer for you to see that. You're here. All right, so Harshnag reaches forward, touching the rune to the archway. Everybody roll for initiative. God damn it. <laughs> okay. And then ignore your initiative, because I'm just fucking with you. Um, uh, how long did one. how long did that uh, shield buff last? Because I still have the marker on. Uh, shield is. Oh, which was, shield? Uh, is? Shield oh, of faith, I think. Is that ten minutes? I think. Yes. At most. Ten minute concentration. Yeah, yeah it's ten mm -hmm. minutes. Okay, so it should still be up then. This. Okay. Yours is up. Mine should be up too then. Uh. All right. So, no. starting at the top of the turn order, Kalidus, give me a wisdom save, please. Okay. Uh, Come on, roll 20. It That's is super laggy. You can put me at the bottom of the turn order. I, I thought I clicked, but I didn't. Caleb, uh, Caleb just is the 16, by the way. How is your aura still up? I, I'm not incapacitated. Uh, Acarius. Give me a wisdom save. I'll move you to the top. That's fine. Okay. Hopper, give me a wisdom save. Oh boy, I'm so good at those. It just keeps improving by two. It does. It does. I'm excited for mine. Oh, cool. Was yes. Safe. That's a... Uh, yeah, that's the number. Pareth? Uh, and I get whatever bonus I get from his aura. You're outside ten feet. Yep. Oh, right. <laughs> I forget these squares are 10 feet. Uh-huh. Uh, 13. All right. I have Evan Doors rolls. <laughs> he got a three, didn't he? He got a three. Oh, okay. Now the scary one. Oh, I really don't want... Uh... Oh man, none of us are elves. Somebody could have asked the magic question. Is this a charm effect? I'm an elf. You should oh, ask elf. the magic question. Is that a charm effect? Uh, it is not charm. Alrighty, is it a sleep effect? It is not sleep. Is it a spell? Is it a spell? Is it we're all gonna die? Everybody but Hopper suddenly nothing makes sense to you nothing you don't know who you are you don't know where you're at in fact Acarius give me a d10 sorry uh, give me a d8 roll You begin wandering. Just 
randomly walking towards the south. Oh wait, no! I had that wrong. You do not, because I thought that was two, one and two. You do not. You stand still. Nothing happens. You feel like you should be doing something, but you can't do anything. Icarius. Or Kalidus. Uh, give me a d10 roll. Oh, 10. Oh. Yeah. Oh. For a brief moment, things feel normal to you. You're starting to make sense of it. You know where you're at. You know the people around you. Everybody else looks like they don't get it. Okay. What would you like to do? Um... Lesser Restoration the Giant. <laughs> <laughs> do I sense, like, magic interfering with people? Uh, yeah. I'd say in your current state, you can sense something is wrong as, as you look over everybody. And even knowing it from how it impacted you originally... It seems like, yeah, they're under the influence of some spell. Okay. Um, do I have anything that counters magic? Not really. I do have less restoration, though, but I don't think that will fix anything. Eh, we're, no, <laughs> Warlock, shit, I only have two slots. <laughs> eh, ah, fuck it. Uh, pa parents, are you, are you alright? And I will lay my hand on her and cast Lester Restoration. Lester Restoration. Okay. Uh, you reach over, placing your hand on Parath. You feel the energy leaving from your hand, but it doesn't affect it. Oh dear. Um. Hey, who said you could touch me? Thirty. I'm gonna move back. Okay. Try to survey the area, see, watch what it. See what does. happens. Okay. Yeah. Hopper, what'd you like to do? Uh. No signs of movement since I didn't fall under the effect. Like, nothing's been spoken around in my field of view. To you, the only thing you notice is... Because you and Acarius were heading north and you were chipping away at the ice. At the doorway. And as you were doing so, Acarius just stopped. And just kind of stands there. And I'm, am I aware of... I just know that I'm supposed to be doing something. But I don't remember what. Yeah, like nothing right. makes sense to you right now. Hmm. I could I could hear uh Kaledis talking like something was wrong, right? Uh like yeah. Far, right? You could you could hear that he he sensed something and said, you know, Parrot, are you alright? And then you could hear him verbally casting this spell. Uh but it had no effect, and outside of that, yeah, that, that's all you've heard so far. All right, I guess I'll just move here and keep a guarded position around Acarius. Um, probably just hold an action if something tries to attack us. Okay. Uh, Alcool? Um, before I do anything else, was this Didn't a spell? I should have asked that. I you had me I make said it. yes, it was a spell. Oh. Okay. Uh, D10 roll. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you also stand unable to move, just forgetful.
Harith. D10. Uh, D10. Okay. Uh, uh, you do nothing, just like the others. I'm going to glare at all of them because I don't know them. <laughs> Evendor shakes off the cobwebs and begins to come to and kind of looks around and notices things seem out of place. Uh, noticing Parrot is kind of pulling away and uh, Alakul's just kind of stand there, standing there just in a daze. Uh, and Harshnog a little intimidating seeing him over there uh, and then seeing Kaladus moving away Evendor takes that cue and begins to move away and Harshnag back fucker okay um Same thing. He stands here confused and lost, not really knowing what to make of all of this. Carius, give me another wisdom save, please. Another wisdom save. Got it. As all this is going on, you suddenly snap back to, to everything around you. You see everything. You look behind you, you notice Hopper is no longer helping you with the door. You still have your weapon in your hand where you were trying to dig through the ice. It's like you just and lost am, track of time. You have no idea what happened. Am I very aware that I have no idea? That oh, I, I, like I it's... passed and I'm just confused now? Yeah, you are super confused about what's going on. I'm just going to turn to Hopper and go... Why'd we stop on the door? What's going on? Magic effects. Everybody's acting weird, including you. Not so much now, but they were. Well, you were. They still are. Should we do something, or do you want to continue working on the door? I'm trying to make sure nothing tries to kill you. You can keep working. The carrier's going to shrug and just keep working. Okay. Um, uh, Kalidus, wisdom save. D10 roll, please. Aww. Hey. Hey. Once again, you feel s you're fighting back something, but you're still aware enough to know that this is happening you should be able to do something. You're trying to break free of all of it. You're trying to get the others to become alert. Uh, what would you like to do? Kind of looking around. Not sure what's going on. Say, hey, um... Something seems to be affecting everyone. Uh, uh, Hopper, Acarius, could you come here, please? Take a few more steps back five <laughs> yeah. you'll never get out of bow range no matter how far you run <laughs> <laughs> Got a backy way I'm like the door is bad I don't want to be near it anymore and yeah that's the restoration did fuck all so yeah that's it okay Hopper your turn guess I should 
care enough to go see what he wants. You, you gonna be okay here for a moment? There he is. Okay, good talk, buddy. <laughs> I'll start making my way. That's 60. All right. Okay. All right. All cool. Wisdom safe. Hey. You feel the confusion that has set into your mind has begun to relinquish itself. Uh, kind of snap out of this fog that was kind of setting over you and you look around you see Parath and Harshnag and Evendor still dealing with it you look back behind you, you see Kaelidus still dealing with it but the two to the north appear fine hmm Gonna move there for now. Okay. That's it. Okay. Pareth, wisdom safe. And just like the others, you start to feel the fog cloud lift off and no longer feel like you're under control of this spell. And Harshnag still looks like he's under control. Uh, to me under the control of the spell yes yes okay yeah I'm not I, and Paris like nope gonna nope out of here and she heads over to Kalidus and tries to like shake him okay. step out of it okay Evendor is going to do his save I'm not the only one. Okay. Uh, again, like last time, he feels it still setting on him, but as he kind of looks around, he, again, can't make any sense of any of this. Um, he thinks and looks over his spell list, and or I look over his spell list trying to figure out what he's got. Nothing that will help. Um, he kind of panics and immediately begins running towards Hopper and thinks, I I've got to get to safety. Somebody's got to help me. Uh, and Hopper, Hopper is the one that can help me. You should punch him in the face. Sorry. Yeah, you should totally punch him in the face. Wisdom save. Ooh, Harshnog comes too. Uh, feeling Harshnog a bit... goes absolutely apeshit. Feeling a bit groggy from all of this, he stops kind of looking around the room, looks down at the uh, Bone Great Club and says, I don't think that's what was supposed to happen. Yeah, no kidding! <laughs> Uh, he slowly backs away from the gate, turning, looking in the direction of the two that still look like they're going in and out of the fog. Uh, but, Icarius, back north. Everything's fine. You're normal. What would you like to do? I'm still chipping away at the door. As soon as Hopper uh, told me, I just Kay. started working. All right. Uh, so we'll skip through you on this with some save Kalidus uh, 
Hey. The fog cloud See? lifts. I just have to shake him. It would have been super unfortunate had he came to and was in melee range to be able to strike you. Uh, I think that would... The word you're looking for is hysterical. <laughs> Kayla, the... Like, eh. <laughs> the cloud of confusion lifts off of you. You feel normal again. Nothing hanging over you anymore. That was odd. Now do it like I... Now say it as if you were being shaken by someone who's way taller than you. <laughs> really much. But I won't. <sighs> that was weird. Thank you. <laughs> Parrot, what are you doing? Are you right in the head? That's mean. Uh, you know what? That was that was a weird thing. Are you better? Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll go with that one. I feel fine. Good. You can stop now. That's it's fun. Stuff. Okay. Anything you'd like to do? Look over at Harshnag. Harshnag, um, don't do that again, please. I don't think that's what was supposed to happen. Don't worry, I don't intend on it. Oh, good. Excellent. Is everyone else okay? Start Evan, looking around. Evan, there still mm, looks not quite not yet. good. Mm -mm. Uh, Hopper, Evander's coming right for you. I stab him because he's not here to fight it. <laughs> no. Um, okay. We haven't what seen anything fighting? come out and try and kill us, right? Nope. So, are are we good then? Everybody not crazy or than normal? Uh, Evander still looks. Lost. Yeah, but that's normal. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna go back and help Arcarius try not to die. Okay, so heading back okay. north to that's, help Arcarius. <laughs> Al cool. Yeah, I'm gonna walk right up next to Evander. Um. Look, dude, nap out of it. That's it. Okay. Parrot? Um, uh, mm, I don't really have anything, so I guess if something shows up, I'll shoot it, but I think we're just waiting on the wizard. Uh-huh. And... On this turn, and I forgot that I already had his d20 rolls, so uh, on this turn, he slowly begins to come to, and the confusion spell that was cast upon the entire room is now lifted. Everybody is returned to normal once again. Okay, um, well, that wasn't right, I think. Yeah, yeah, that was All right. that was probably Let's not the right one. Not do that again. Why don't um, we go check out the other door before we yeah, like, start fiddling like, around some yeah. more? I'm gonna put this back. It's a it's a good idea. Please do. Please do. Harshnog quickly, quickly walks back over uh, to drop <laughs> this uh, this gr uh, great club off uh, back over at. Uh, Grolantar's uh, statue. Well, the good news is we know it doesn't have to do with the items and the door coming into contact, at least. Yes, and uh, mystery has been solved. Well, we if didn't something actually happens when get the, when the items come hurt. into contact with the door. True, because I think good happens though. Well, it could be that we just got something wrong, because remember, we were poking it with the uh, collapsible pole before, and it didn't do anything magical. We were poking the fog gate, if I remember, with the pole. 
not the runes themselves. What would you like to do? Um, wait for a door to get defrosted enough okay. to, that Marshnag can force his way in there. Okay. Yep. Uh, with the party kind of working together to chip through it, it takes again about an hour to break through. Uh, if more than three of you are doing it. Hop to it, strength people. I'm really no no yeah. good with that, unfortunately. Uh, I think I'll sit down and rest for this hour. <laughs> I'm going to pick him up and shake him every, like, five minutes so he can't regain <laughs> his spell slots. <laughs> Seems like a poor idea even for you. That's not wrong. <laughs> Just, just every five minutes, wander back over, smack him in the back of the head, and wander <laughs> off. I'm making sure you're not confused. <laughs> okay, uh, so about an hour goes by uh, between I, Hopper. I would be helping him too. I, I imagine it was probably going to be like Alakul, Hopper, Acarius, and then Harshnag coming over to help. Um, you're able to finally break through. Uh, same scene as before on, on the doors. You see just various giants fighting dragons on all of the doors. Each one of the murals are different. There's, But there's no specific uh, details to it that like make you think this is anything other than just ornate artwork. Uh, but an hour passes, the ice breaks. Uh, you're able to finally move in to the chamber to the north. Shiny, I have a question. Yes. You're, you're a gold, right? Are you black? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Why didn't you use your fire breath? I, I could. I, I feel like uh, a, a quick burst of heat may cause more issues than solve them on that, though. I know I'd have been pretty upset about it. I've been working at this forever. Yeah, we definitely would have appreciated you know, you not being cautious. Uh, so as you open the doors and uh, Harshnog kind of pushing them open and making his way inside uh, directly to your east. Uh, you see a stairway that leads upward, uh, going about uh, 40 feet up, uh, leading around the corner to the left. Uh, as you enter in and you begin to make your way towards the center, uh, immediately on your left-hand side right over here, um, you take note of, um, this very wide pathway, uh, between here and, uh, up to the north. Man, roll 20 is so laggy tonight. Um, you round the corner and you look and you see a 60 foot tall ceiling that extends well off into the darkness for you guys. Uh, and at the southern end of this hallway, standing in an alcove, is a very large, life-sized stone giant statue. Its arms kind of lifted out and its hands outstretched, like palms facing towards the north end of the hallway. Uh, as Harshnag kind of leads you in, uh, into the chambers, uh, he steps around and kind of peeks in, seeing what the this area was and says these must have been the living quarters not the greatest of comforts but tolerable i suppose i mean i think you're saying that because this is you're a frost giant and this place is covered in ice what do you have against our people i don't have anything against your people i just think you're better suited for the cold 
He kind of looks over his shoulder at you. Shakes his Man, head. what do you want? One of my favorite, one of my favorite enemies is giants. <laughs> really want that uh, sponsorship to the gray hands, don't you? <laughs> well, she's not saying that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> um, Harshnog begins walking forward, uh, kind of peeking through, just kind of examining everything as he moves, letting you guys uh, do your thing. Um, and this watching gold, gold star is the uh, stone that's giant. the statue yeah the stone giant statue uh, and he's facing north he is and his hands okay. are kind of outstretched like he's almost like he's pushing something um, Calidus as you start walking forward uh, you notice the, the floor itself uh, has a slight incline to it uh, where it feels maybe like you, you can feel it like as your foot crosses the panel uh, as you step forward uh, but it extends and continues in that same level all the way forward okay just seems like the floor is unlevel compared to what the rest of the floors are. Uh, it seems that when they constructed this room, everything else seems so proper and flat, but the floor here seems to arc upwards for some reason. Probably a reason for that. Maybe. How cool you go first. <laughs> okay. Parrot just looks at Caleb as proudly. <laughs> Send in the meat shield first. That a boy. <laughs> oh, okay. you can go first too, Perry. Uh, as, you, as you enter into the hallway and you look uh, to your east and west, uh, you notice that there are these 30-foot tall archways placed all along the walls uh, that lead into these very large... Uh, what looked to be uh, uh, stone couches that were serving as beds within these chambers. Uh, some of them are kind of strewn with like tattered uh, furs and things of that nature, uh, but seem very simplistic. It, it just appears like basic giant kind of stuff. They don't have all of the... Uh, human niceties that some of you are accustomed to. Said this was like a barracks or a living quarters? Yeah, it's it appears to be like a living quarters of, of sorts. Nancy. So, I have a... I have a thing that I've been thinking about. I don't know if anybody else has been on the same wavelength as me, but is anybody else finding a, a little odd that we're coming into this super important giant temple and there's no giants anywhere? Uh, there's Apart one right the here. one right here. Well, besides the one that we came with, yes. Um, I mean, that's fair. We were told there was an oracle, and we haven't seen anything oracly. Or, or the fact that, you know, it looks like there should be giants here when there are none. Like, yeah, well, this, you is, know, this is a living quarters. We were in a feast hall, <laughs> and they're all, for giants. like, this place, this place looks abandoned. All the giants fighting each other and other things. Um, they may not want to be here anymore. Maybe they were attacked, and they're on the other side of that door that we can't get through. Would make sense, right? Possible. Maybe we're just not making a high enough perception roll to notice them hiding. What's a perception roll? Yes. <laughs> he made a high enough perception roll to yeah, notice that I there's mean, nothing in here. <laughs> 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 they rolled a 25, though. 
I, I don't see anything. I, I'm not sure what you're hinting at. There's a stone giant behind us. It appears to be just made of stone, though. Wow, that is racist. Not all rocks are stone giants. Oh, it looks like a stone giant. I don't know what race has to do with that. Parrot looks at you, harsh <laughs> like, and you're, the, you're, you're looking Harshnog, at me like I'm the one. Harshnog, I am so sorry for him. I'm very confused. Don't worry, so am I. Does that be a common occurrence with this group? Uh. What would you like to do? Uh. Looking. You said the this is slow. Mm hmm Now that we're what, forty, fifty feet in. Mm hmm How significant of a slope is it? It's a very gradual like it's enough that like you can feel like you know how if you step on uh, a sidewalk and there are two uh two of the the panels within a sidewalk that are just a little off kilter uh yeah it feels like that like one of them just is very a uh, very small but noticeable slope up towards the north we're talking like three degrees or something yeah like at most okay. uh, a three degree yeah. incline not even wheelchair ramp got it okay um i think we should uh keep heading up all right uh, continuing your search, each one of these rooms looking very abandoned, very uh, plain and lacking of any form of decoration or ceremony. The, there's nothing in here. The Every room as you're passing by, just empty. How far does this go? Um... A really long way, apparently. Well, barracks are used to house a lot of soldiers, so... Giant barracks. <laughs> That's a long way. It is a long way. Wow, I was like thinking, like, man, there must be so much more to this place, but nope, the entire northern section is this barracks. Gotta take us forever to get there. It's almost like our legs are really small by comparison. I'd Stay hate to have one of these rooms on the end down here. Well, if you're a giant, I don't think it'd bother you that much. It's and everybody cool. stop. <laughs> here we go. Hopper, I knew this incline was going to fuck dead. us eventually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Al Cool's ahead. He fucked us again. Mm -hmm. You were ahead of me. <laughs> Suddenly, every one yep. of these archways close off. I knew it! Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> there goes plan one. <laughs> As this happens, a massive... I knew it. <laughs> ...smash into the ground, and then the sound of... Run. ...rolling. Run! <laughs> Acarius! What would you like to do? <laughs> well, I just had a feeling we were going to need initiative. Uh... Sorry, I'm eating. All right. Um, so all the archways closed and it's sloping down now? Yep. Um, all the archways on the, yeah, the, the sides left and right, they're all closed off. And I don't see any obvious enemies or anything? Nope. You heard a loud thud and... Yeah, we heard a slamming sound. Yeah. Is that uh, north or... the, yeah, to in the, the north. Yeah, the interest of... Okay. I mean, I am going to get my quarter staff out, get ready, and... Okay. Just be wary. Okay. Okay, let us... I'll be back here. Start heading. <laughs> okay. Hopper? 
Just one BRB. Okay. Uh, then while they are doing that, let's do this. Da 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 da. Dun da da. Dun da da da. Oh god. Everybody. Shit. Yes. Deck saving throws, please. Wow! Shit. Oh, that dude. got here fast. 200 wow. feet is how fast it's rolling. Well, <laughs> you what? Can be, at least we don't only. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, that that's. Mm hmm. Well, that thing picked up some speed fast. Okay. Um. We're dead. Uh. Oh, and I've been forgetting Evendor this whole time. Well, he's safe. He's safe. He's at the end of the hallway, apparently. Cause I forgot to move him. Uh, it's so fast. It's like flying down this ramp. 119,000 uh, miles per hour. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> that seems it says, a little wrong. That doesn't seem wrong. <laughs> it says, that, and this is how it reads. The boulder rolls 200 feet on, 200 feet on each of its turns until it reaches the end of the hall. Um, yeah, 1100 or 119,000 feet per second. Um, <laughs> or per no. hour, that's per hour. Uh, per hour, per hour. Uh, how many feet we per need... second is that? Who are we missing? Uh, Hopper. Oh, whenever she's back. Um, uh, at fast. Hopper okay. also has a plus three uh, for deck save. Uh, yep. I'm doing maths here. Let me know if I'm instantly dead. So, Barbarian, I think. I've always wanted oh to try. Oh my gosh. Real fucking close. Uh, if you that, that's, are. That's the damages? If you're on the outside, the right channel and left channel, you have to be a DC 12 or you take 55 bludgeoning damage or 45 bludgeoning damage. Oh. What's the DC for the middle? F you. Parath is the only one that saved. Can I, I need like to roll for Harshnog. No. I mean, he Harshnog's gonna have to take this more than likely, but can I like jump on it as it's rolling and then just kind of like roll, run on top of it as it's going back? Uh, no, but after and based on what Hopper and Kalidus see as this is rolling, you guys are able to like kind of squeeze down in the corner and avoid it. Uh, Harshnog would not be able to. Obviously, because it's bigger than he is, and there's our the um, space is too small for him. Uh, everybody in the center that failed yeah. fifty five bludgeoning damage. Oh yeah, I'm I'm doink. Uh, does Half a that, if you save okay. So, uh, Hopper's the only one up, I think. Mm, oh, no, Paris still alive. Paris yeah, okay. Uh, waiting on Hopper. I'm gonna just roll for Hopper here. Hold on. They get a plus uh, three to their check. Okay. So deck save. Oh shit. Yeah. So she saves, uh, taking half of that. Did I write that right? Yeah. Okay, yep, half that. Minus. Uh, what 
What is that? 22. Ow! Uh, Hopper's alive. Paris oh, alive. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it does, however, as it hits you, knocks you over into the wall uh, as it kind of clears its path. Uh, oh, good. Since she's not there's, here. Ala, cool. Wow! Um. Yeah. Why Let's do see. I have a plus three on that? I don't know. You, because you're a paladin? Because it's counting your paladin. Mm -hmm. Oh. Stuff. Yep. Which you would um, not get because you're unconscious. Correct. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, I know. Parath, this giant ball of bullshit just rolled through the hallway. Fuck that! Ow. Okay. Um, well, seeing everybody down is bad. Um, but let's see if I can pull this off. Yeah, I think I can. Three. Oh, cool. Yeah, no, that's a bad time. Okay, so I can't see Kalidus, so I can't heal him. <laughs> Just a speed bump happening on the <laughs> rock. <laughs> Krunk. Where's Kalidus? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, damn it. Well, I know he ran down there. Shit. <laughs> it's a ball on top of me. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> okay um i am going to light a torch so that i can see because i just i noticed that my other that my source of light is unconscious okay uh so you light a torch um Oh yeah, Come on, roll turn. Taillight drops off of Hopper, by the way. Uh-huh. Uh hold on. 4020 all players. You came back to some bullshit, Ren. Nope. Uh yeah, light falls off Hopper because Alakul or no, you cast it, right? Kalidus? I cast daylight. Yeah. Daylight yeah. was on Hopper. Yeah. So that's gone. Okay. Oh my god, this is like <sighs> Okay. So And this thing is still god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Can't reach him. Nope. Pinned under fucking lightning fast bowling ball. Can I see him kinda under there though? under yeah, yeah i mean like yeah you can you can see him off in the distance underneath of it just like collapsed on the ground like just got hit okay by um yeah i'm gonna cast healing spirit on him so there's a healing spirit on top of caleb is probably wondering what in god's name they are doing getting summoned on top of a boulder but it's a spirit so it doesn't really take up any physical <laughs> space all right so, so cast the healing spirit giving Kalidus two points of health uh, the ball of bullshit continues rolling uh, anything else um I'm mostly just gonna call out like I'm getting Kalidus back up um I'll get to everybody else eventually okay and then, um, because that's pretty much all of my stuff. Evandor hears all of the doors close and is like, nope, fuck that shit. I, I don't know what it is, and he's hiding around the corner. Well, he probably just heard all the screams. <laughs> he, <laughs> he abruptly cut off. Like, everything, like, all the voices silenced instantly. And then he's like, oh, 
Oh no! Yeah, no, I'm not. No, no. Mm -mm. Uh, Harshnog like falls back into the wall and was like, "Oh, what was?" Uh, just like panicking, has no idea what to do. He has nothing to help you guys with. Icarius. Death save. Yeah. Kalidus, you have two HP and you get more HP at the start of your turn. Huzzah. Huzzah. Give me more HP, Paris. Yay. Five more HP. That's like almost max for you. Uh, all right, so I'm going to stand up as the ball of bullshit rolls away. Sliding out from under it, going that uh, way. Okay. Yeah, I'll like, help pull him up. I didn't enjoy that. Ow. <laughs> Looks um, like there are more coming. Look, I don't, I don't typically be... like them, but a lot of them are dying, so we need to help them. Uh, okay, I, I can't see anyone else. Where are, are they? They're up there. You're going to have to follow me. All right. Uh, it's it's really good fortune that I picked the route that wouldn't let me get to Alakul last. I hope another one shows up, doesn't show up here as I move to the middle so I can see somebody. Um, whoever that's besides Harsh Dog. I can't tell because of the token. Oh, uh, Icarius. Uh, Carious, uh, healing light. Uh, but then, yeah, six feet. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna get you back up, buddy. Two, two healing. Just stumbling as <laughs> I so hold up my hand. Uh huh. Here you go. Gonna lean back over. Uh, where are the others? That'll more to the north. Okay. Uh... The ball of bullshit continues rolling. Hopper, what are you doing? Uh, it's rolling away from us, right? After it collided. Correct. I stepped away during that point. Yeah, um, it, so... it rolled over top of all of you and then continued rolling. Is anybody dead? Not outright. Well, she's going to stifle her amusement at seeing everyone get pancaked and then try and help anyone close by up. You were pancaked too. I know, but I didn't die. You didn't die. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> One of three people that didn't die. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no, nope, that'll do it. I don't have any healing. Okay. Shiny, give me that death save. Apparently he's also BRB. Lissai. Parath? Uh, I'm going to move up. And as a bonus action, I'm going to throw the healing spirit onto Shiny. Okay. Because I believe I can move it as a bonus for 60 feet. Uh, 60 feet's not going to go all the way up there. Oh, that's true. Um, oh, I can only move it 30 feet. Okay, I guess it's going to start start trekking. So it should be, what, right beside Kalidus then? You want to yes. drop it on Kalidus? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to leave it on top of Kalidus. So it'll, every time he moves, I'll probably just move it on top of him. Okay. So more HP on the start of your turn there, buddy. Okay. Uh, 
Evanor peeks his head around the corner, looks forward, seeing the massive boulder coming in his direction, and immediately ducks back again. Smart man. Yeah. I'm going to laugh if the stone statue angles its hand so it bounces the boulder. <laughs> the entire floor shifts. Here comes the ball again. Just kidding. Um, Harsnog kind of wanders into the center of the room checking to see what he can do uh, steps up where uh, Alakul is and tries to draw everybody's attention over to him uh, seeing that he's still down uh, Acarius you have 2 HP now Horn's mic broke again? I don't know. We just said something last turn. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, last I turn. thought it was working just fine because I could <laughs> hear y'all. Sorry. <laughs> um, How dare you? I'm just going to get up and stumble over and try and look for Alakul. Are these blocks still 20 feet? 10 feet, uh, I mean. The small squares that you're in, each one's 10 foot. Yeah. Yes. I think I can... Yeah, I can make it over to... No. No, I can't. I'm just going to move up to here and look over at Alakul and then I'm going to pull out a potion of healing and drink it. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll your dice on that. Um... Kalidus, what are you doing? Uh, healing for one. Okay. Keep on. Can't all be good. 20, 30. I can see hella cool faintly in the distance. Hella cool. Take my healing light. <laughs> for two HP again. <laughs> are the doorways still closed? Uh huh. Oh. Yeah, that's not filling me with much confidence. Oh, uh, I do hope there's not another rock coming. Uh, mm, <laughs> did I get a rest while they were finishing up the door? Sure, I'll give you a short rest. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds on myself. Uh, what are my spell slots? Fourth level? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your wounds at fourth level for 19 more. Once again, you hear the sound of stone oh. against stone as the boulder reaches the end of the hallway. Oh. The giant statue, which is holding its arms out into place, stopping the boulder where it is and has now begun rolling it back north. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> well, it was fun playing this game with you guys. <laughs> as, as this is happening... One second. As this stone giant statue is pushing this boulder north, all of the doorways suddenly open. Okay. How fast is it moving? Can we tell? Uh, it is moving at... 40 feet? I think. Let me check. Yeah, 40 feet. 40 feet a turn. Okay. I, I think we should hurry up to the north before it's reset. Evandor can barely see it. Hello? Hello. I healed you. You shouldn't Feel be dead. Yeah? You got healing. How much? Two. I don't know. Two? Two. Two? Yes. Uh the proper response was, thank you for healing me after I thank got you. pancaked. Yes, you're welcome. Wow! Yeah, it's true. Okay. Uh, 
Hopper, what are you doing? Hopper, Hopper books it north. Double move. Okay. Uh, moving 60 feet, getting closer to the end of the hallway. Uh, Al, cool. Um, you have 2 HP. You're prone on the ground. 2 HP in a dream. 2 HP in a dream. All right. Gonna stand up. Okay. Then I have, what, 15 plus a dash 30, so 45 paths. Which I guess it's just... Get right up behind where Hopper is, I guess. Since, you know, five feet doesn't exist in this. It does not. We'll go there. Okay. That's it. Parath? Um... So I'm going to cast Zephyr Strike because that increases my movement speed by 30. Okay. And then I'm going to kind of throw K- uh, Kalidus over my shoulder. And is that a... Oh, okay, that's a bonus action. And then I'm going to dash because that my speed is 60 and dash gives me two moves so I can move 120 feet. Because I'm out of here, baby. Okay, you're going north? Yes. And I'm dragging the tiefling with me. Uh, you will not... You don't have enough strength to be able to carry another medium-sized creature your size and still dash. Uh, then I will just take my 60 feet of movement. Okay. Bye, Paris. Well, 60 and carrying you. Yeah. Oh. Bye, Paris. <laughs> So go to here or over at the side if you want. Either one. That's fine. Uh, Evan Dorja just watches. Not sure what to do. He's going to slowly follow behind the sta- the statue. He's the Where safest the- one of all. He's literally <laughs> the safest one at all, of all. Art um, would be so mad right now. Uh, Harshnog starts making his way north. Um, Carius. Uh, he is doing the same thing. He has 45 feet of movement. Okay. Dash. I'm updating him via text. Uh, Uh-oh. yeah, sure. Yeah, because he, they, the power line or the power pole right up next to his house was at a, like a 45 degree angle after last <laughs> night's storm. And wow. he looked outside after his power went away and Encore is out there, like, literally working on the power line, so Ouch. they cut all the power to his house. So. Gotcha. Uh, Kalidus, you're currently being carried by Parath. Um. <laughs> Here you go, Parath. Uh, healing light. <laughs> Must heal up my horse. Uh, this time for seven. Why is it doing the next down there? Uh, ignore the higher level count. Seven. I used two that time. Okay. Hopper? Still running? Still running. Uh, Full 60 running. feet. Right? Yep. Uh, you run all the way Unless to the I end. the end first. Solid brick wall. Guys... Whoa. Into a room! Into a room! <laughs> yeah, if I have any movement, move me into a room. Uh, 60 puts you 5 or 10 feet away from the wall, at which point you would start to be able to see it. Uh, actually, I'll move you back. I'll say you saw it with 20 feet because of your uh, uh, dark vision. Okay. And then you could duck right into the room here. Yeah, I'll duck. I'll duck into the room and just kind of like grab anyone who okay. comes up to that opening. Okay. Uh, Al, cool. Um, about how far back is that rock? I mean, it it's not moving at two hundred feet like it was Good. when it came out. <laughs> Good. Um. I 
right there. And <laughs> and um, fifteen points of lay on hand on myself. Okay, Pareth. Uh, I'm going to run into this room on the left. Okay, dragging. Kayla just with you in there. Uh, Evandor following behind the statue at a safe distance of 20 feet. I'm going to laugh when he gets to the end. It's going to reset. And he's like, huh, all right. And then the boulder just smushes him. Harshnog moves into the chamber at the side here. Actually going to move out of the way in case somebody else wants to come in there. Uh, Acarius. Uh, one second. Extending him. Okay. I guess this is just where we live now. <laughs> uh, I think I'm trying to look so I can see where he is because I can't see shit on my end. Uh, okay, yes. He says uh, hides in the nearest room, so I guess up there with Popper. Yep. Okay. So moves over to here. Kalidus? Uh, I, I think you can put me down now, uh, Pareth. Shh. Pareth, don't make me hurt you. I would like to investigate the room, see if I see any, like, hidden entrances or exits or anything. Nothing in this chamber. Pair shoots him a dirty look because she's trying to hear where the boulder is. Your passive perception is enough to see there's nothing in this chamber. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to be smarmy. Oh, no, I was talking to Kayla. Just... Oh, I gotcha. Well, there's nothing in here. <laughs> uh, hold my action to cast. Oh, no. Nothing. I'll just wait. Just waiting. Is okay. everyone else alright? No. Anybody that we like? You hear... Yeah, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. You hear the giant boulder kind of rolling against the, the open palms of the, the statue as it's stomping as it makes its way north. Uh... Are you guys just hanging out here until the boulder passes? So, out of out of character for a moment, if we let this thing like, I, there's probably no way that we could stop it. But if this thing resets, we have ran up, so we're not going to be able to outrun this thing. <laughs> you are officially closer now than you were when you first triggered it. Yes. Exactly. Like, there's no, there's no getting out of this. If, yeah, well, that's how, how much we got does that boulder away, though? Yeah, that boulder would have plowed right through that the immovable rod. Mm. Or no, maybe right now it wouldn't. Well, I had to use it in order to get into the place. <laughs> and is um, it, we we got it back, so... though, didn't we? No, it's they're both still waiting out there, so hopefully no one will come by and take them. <laughs> well, you know. I mean they're surrounded oh. by collapsed boulders, so yeah, pretty good odds that Everybody check your room, see if there's any exit in them there's... or something at that... Uh, so to answer your question, DM, I guess at this point Parrot's gonna wait to see if when the statue walks by and if it's like moving at all like it's a living creature okay um i'm also gonna wait till it moves by and then all ass and then when i hear it like start to reset or whatever dump duck in a room yeah that's, hopper that's... hopper will hopper will look around her room since she was at one at the end okay uh same as uh Kalidus, as you're kind of examining the room, uh, same thing, just random rugs and just a few leftover uh, little bits and pieces. This is 
like blankets and pillows, things of that nature. But other than that, there's nothing in the chamber. Uh, so if everybody's staying in your room, then I'll continue. Yeah, we're we'll speed this up. I want you to move that thing up forty by forty feet at a time. That's what I was doing. And I want everybody to say I pass. <laughs> That's how God intended it. Gets to the end of the hall. The boulder seemingly just like magic fitting into the wall. The stone giant turns around and begins walking back. So when it when it walked How fast by, did that giant? It, yeah, when it walked by, did it look like a a living stone giant? It looked like a statue that looks like a stone giant that was marching by, pushing this thing by. Even so now, it wasn't like so. It was like moving around like a living creature. Kind of, yeah. Uh, even now, as you're watching this and everybody's kind of uh, sitting back and taking a look as this thing walks back by, uh, it looks just like the statue did before. The only difference is its legs are actually moving as it's stepping forward. Its arms are still outstretched, like still as if it's bracing for the boulder to go by. Uh, it continues on 40 feet at a time. Making um, its way back south again. Do, do we want to follow it back down before it fully resets? Yes? Wait, no? Wait, what if I, what if we kill the statue? No, I well, kind of, that's my idea. What if we set the trap off again? I don't think it's reset. Well, the statue isn't reset, but the boulder might be reset. What if we set it off and then duck into the room because it's not ready to catch the boulder? But the the room's closed when we set the trap. Yeah, off you before. can al you could also just go prone. We also know you could just lay down in the corners, and you probably would be fine anyway. The statue continues walking. What are we doing? Run! Epic. Ah! Where is everybody? Run! Into the hallway. <laughs> I'm I'm still in a room. <laughs> Kayla, you go? run it the wrong way. There's a Where wall the, over there. Where you're, did the boulder go? Hold on, hold on. Don't. No, no, no. You can't run 140 feet in six seconds. Challenge accepted. <laughs> hey, you weren't that boulder. I've, you are not that boulder. I, I mean, I just, I just figured out a way to get 120 in one turn. <laughs> I just gotta, <laughs> gotta work so, a little bit more. <laughs> to you just speed, gotta haste yourself. To speed this up. Everybody goes back where you started. Okay. And everybody is going to move your distance just all at one time. So move wherever you're going to move your 60 feet or whatever. Move it now. And we'll do it in one turn. And we'll alternate where? between you and the stone giant. Where am I positioned currently? You're way up north. Oof. The carriers. Am I still in? Am yep, I still you're in still the in rooms? the room, yes. Okay, I am not moving. I am good. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the carries doing? You know? Uh, I think he's gonna... Let me double check. He said he was investigating rooms, but I want to make sure it wasn't just that room. Yep. Uh, Harshnag looks and says... I don't know about you, but I'm not sticking around to see what happens when this returns. Smart plan. Uh, no, I'm definitely with you on that one, big guy. Uh, yes, I do. Fourth. Okay. Uh, Parath, you can move. Uh... Okay. We'll move a Carius. Is he moving down with us yep. or? Uh, oh, yeah. Have... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Zephyr, if the general so... consensus is everybody start moving down, then yeah. Okay. Uh, and he's I actually, at I can actually move. Eighty feet. I can 90. move. Uh, 
Uh, 90. 90, okay. okay and you can move your 120 if you still have Zephyr. Can... Uh, Hopper, I still have you... Zephyr. You don't? Can I move past... I do. Can I move past the golem? Like, is the, there enough the room giant? for me yeah. to kind of add pace? The yeah. statue? You could run right by him. Yeah, there's plenty of room on both right, sides. Yeah. Yep, I'm taking off. I'm gonna see if I can like okay. maybe there's something I can do. Okay. Back there. Uh, Hopper, are you going down with the others? No, Hopper has every intention of staying safely in that room. Okay. Because that boulder, the boulder is rolling, right? Uh, that's no, the boulder has been pushed into the wall, and the statue is walking back. Oh, okay. I'm misunderstanding because yeah. I heard pan. I heard panic in their voice. Uh, where where are they? They're down. Yeah. So that would have been, would have been 10, 20, 30, 40. Oh, I can't <laughs> leave Caleb as there. He's going to get smushed. I'm right behind you. You're checking on Icarius. Yeah, basically just moving so Icarius can join me and then we're going to move. Okay. Then I, then I just move. Um, or he okay. can just move in and I'll follow either way. Yeah, yeah I have Icarius down here. So. Okay. Save my and cinnamon muffin. I can't see shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, the stone oh. giant continues marching. 40 more feet. Do your movement. Whatever you would like to do. 40, 50, 60. Hi, Icarius. Is the uh, is the healing spirit still up? Uh, no, that is gone. <laughs> you didn't have everyone roll around in it to heal up? Uh, no, there <laughs> was really the time for that. <laughs> uh, after, after we get this sorted out, I still have a spell slot, okay. so we can still do that. Rolling uh, around in it. Hopper, you want to move your distance yeah I got it uh, and I'll move I believe Acarius will probably just stick actually I'm just going to have him stick with Kalidus for now uh, probably for the best yeah. the giant continues on 40 more feet hopefully be back soon they're working really fast on it okay Move your distance or what you would like to do. A four. Where the hell the. And you're free to check rooms if you want along the way. I mean, you don't have a lot of time, but this giant isn't moving super fast. I can't see shit. I keep, yeah, I'm the only one with a light. <laughs> I'm keep on trucking. Okay. Where's the statue now? I had seen it, but where did it it's go? Thirty it's feet like right me. next to me somewhere. Oh, I I apparently can't see. I just my my field of vision cuts out. All right, we have no light now. Uh, you also oh, yeah. I, I can I can I can see the base of it there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, the giant statue moves again. Gonna run over Evander. What, what about if we if we attack it? Will that do anything? At least keep us safe. Uh, I don't know. I'm checking to see if there's like a switch or something by the statue, like where it came from. At the end of the hall, uh, you hear Evander's voice shouting back, "Is everybody okay?" No. Nope. No. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty fucked up, man. Define okay. <laughs> We can define okay. okay. Uh, you guys move your movement. What you want to do? Hopefully, oh. glancing at the rooms to the left and right as I pass them mm -hmm. with my awesome perception check. Uh, when I get to the base of the statue, yeah, is there the anything I can see about it? Or like, I guess not the base, like where it was. Is there anything, or is it just like an alcove? It is. An alcove and a flat pedestal, just like the one that was uh, outside, like that the uh, the other lesser giants were standing on. Uh, that same kind of round pedestal, and it has the same uh, runes going around the bottom edge of it. <sighs> All right. Well, on my next turn, I'm gonna investigate it to see if I can find something. Okay. But don't think we're going to get anything. Okay. So plan accordingly. Uh, I'll move him up here. Uh, 
Okay. So for the sake of brevity, if everybody is just planning on continuing to follow it until it goes back, is that kind of the the idea? Except for Parath, who's going to do an investigation. I, I don't. I don't think we should let it get back into place. We should try and stop it. Okay. You got any great ideas on stopping a statue? Uh, hit it really hard until it breaks. I can't see it. I can't help. I can't see it either. I think I already ran by it, though. You did. <laughs> um, I, I guess I'll, I'll take the initiative then. Um, I'm going to use uh, her... Uh, what is it called for the... The 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 the, the shardic, shardarchai, whatever whatever her the the equivalent of the face step is for them, uh, so the shield okay. uh, she'll uh, bonus action move the additional thirty feet. So I just did a move and then the bonus action and then I'm just gonna attack it with my action action. Okay. Give me an attack um, roll. Ah, I should have invested in tripping attack. Uh, you'll never trip a giant, I said. Huh. Uh, 21. 21 hits. Yep, so she'll just leap at it and just be like, yeah! Yep. Um, is anybody is anybody near me or near it that I can do maneuvering? I don't see no. anybody else. Not uh, close enough, no. no. Okay. Alright, let's just roll damage then. Hwa for 7. Wait. Okay. Uh, nope, that re-rolled into another one. Alright, sweet. Thanks. Great weapon fighting. Uh, jabbing forward with the glaive, you hit it in the the back area of this uh, statue. You see a little tiny pebble fall off of it and hit the ground, but otherwise doesn't appear to be badly damaged. All right, well, I tried. I'll inside start with the pebble. Al cool. Hey. Oh, hey, I can see. I can fight. I hold, can the, fight. I, hold the, I hold the torch away from him. Wow. Okay. Rude. That's, uh, that's it for me. Okay. Uh, Parath, give me that investigation check. Here we go. <laughs> Okay. Um, as you're looking over the statue, you notice the runes at the bottom. Hopefully you have your archway runes handout that I gave you. I do have that. I still you yeah, I have, have that, that written that. down. Uh, it matches the right center. All at right, the bottom so of the pedestal. Right center, according mm -hmm. to that, is Stone Giant, which is fitting. And that's all it is. It just wraps around it, just continuous. That that emblem over and over and over again. Okay, so the runes are for Stone Giant. Da <laughs> that's it, Lightning Paris. Really, I saved you from getting killed. Okay, Evander's happy where he is. Not doing anything. Unless you guys have a suggestion for him. Do magic. Do magic. Evander, do magic! Argon, check the thing! <laughs> Look at the runes! Tell me if it's magical! Evander, do the thing! Uh. Doesn't. I'm looking to see what spells he has. Is. I mean, just like make a arcana check to see if yeah. he can. I was do looking something. to see if he had like detect magic or identify <sighs> magic or anything like that, but nothing. Then we, nothing. Then we find out he was a fraud all along. He was a fraud. Arcana check. Uh, he looks over at seeing uh, the runes and seeing the platform, seeing the massive stone giant that walked by. Nothing. He knows that yes, the the statue is magical, but nothing. He 
Just, he's, he gets nothing. Just go back it. and just go hide. Just again. go hide, please. Go hide, go please. Wa go wander off with another diamond. Like a fool. Uh, Icarius. Heading down south. Okay. I'm Kalidus. Still glancing at the rooms. Hey, a little better that time. Better. Still nothing. Yep. Okay, just keep on dashing. Keep on dashing. Giant continues on. Hopper. <clears throat> Get back here. I'm not done with you. She's going to chase after it and keep beating it because that's all I can do. Okay. Just beat it. Oh, you gotta ah. know you beat I just, it. I just clicked myself out. Sorry. Hold on. Stupid mouse. Okay. We're the best d, &D players, guys. <laughs> we are. We totally know what we're doing. And if World 20 would hurry up... Nope, not today. Not no, today. Enjoy your two minute long loading screen. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. And I envision you're moving 30 Yeah, feet. just move me, move me closer and then I'll attack it. You're 20 feet away from it. It's moving a bit faster than you are. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Okay, well. Oh, wait. Oh, 20 feet. Nope, I don't have reach. This is a larger map. Never mind. Nope, I can't hit it. Hey, All wait, right. no, 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 Sentinel. It doesn't move anywhere. I stop it. I, I, I attack of opportunity it when it tries to move because I have Sentinel. Cut, drop its movement to zero. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, sorry. I just realized that. I was like, shit, I thought I could keep up with it, but no, I would be able to strike it and keep it from moving. It... Okay, I'll give it to you. It's technically not even paying any mind to you. It's like ignoring you that's, and just walking. But mm, I'll give it to you. I'll give it okay, to you. Okay, let me... Go I gotta be able to hit it, though. I gotta yep, be able to hit gotta it. You gotta be first. able to hit it. Yep, you hit it. Uh, okay, okay. All right, so you drop so its movement right speed to zero. Oh, look, my reroll is a two again. Awesome, thanks. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so I hit it for nine, drop it to zero, and then I would keep it from moving. So I'm gonna... Totally not because I know that it's gonna keep moving when it can move on its turn. But I'm gonna go... Uh, 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 and then beat on it some more. It's totally okay. would have just been like advantageous positioning. One, two. <laughs> 16 and a 19. Uh, 16 does not hit. Alrighty. Whoop, wow, 11. Alright. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, Al, cool. Um, I'm gonna light my own torch. Okay. Hopper, what are you doing? <laughs> Slowing it down until you figure something out. Yeah, that's... We don't really have, like, the people for that. I mean, Kalidus is smart. Hey, guys. <laughs> Ish. There's some... I think there's... this is a dead end this way. Is this... it a dead end, Forge? Nope. Oh, wait, no. Your it's light a corner, just doesn't though. show anything. Your light it is a sucks. corner. Okay. Okay. Yep, I think we should investigate. Investigate. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just keep trying. That's marginally better. Okay. Still a podium. Still has. What is it? A, is it a slightly nicer podium now that I've really had a chance to appreciate it? It is pretty plain stone. Uh, it it looks. Uh, very basic though as you're looking at it you do see the scuff marks of where the the statue's feet kind of move against it as it begins to pick up and head down the hallway um you do know a 
about where you're standing or directly behind you as you're looking around you see that's where the little there appears to be like scuff marks from the boulder that stops basically right here uh, and begins to get pushed back but other than that nothing man if I were playing a character that just had a bunch of vials of oil this would be hysterical but I'm not <laughs> Joyce standing on your podium asshole I'm just gonna move out of the way there's nothing I can do with this thing okay uh, and yeah I wish I had something for nah, Evander, good. but he has nothing nothing that would be useful here so he's just gonna do the same and move to the side what a terrible wizard terrible wizard uh, the worst harsh nog kind of peeking in and out of the chambers doing the same thing that uh, that Kalidus is doing I'm going to do some rolls for him uh, yeah I can't figure anything about this pedestal you guys might want to just come down okay uh, Carius, just continuing, going yep. past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ninety feet. Uh, Kalidus. You're doing great, Hopper, but I, I think we should go investigate down here before the giant resets the trap. I'm just slowing it down. Everybody, keep going. Oh, I plan to. And that's the end of my... You'll want to be there. Okay. Yes. Giants. want to be stepped on. Yeah, you don't want to be stepped on by a stone giant statue. Can I attack it again so it <laughs> stops moving? Yes. Okay. So it provokes opportunity attack here. All right, yep, that one misses. And so it misses, so yeah, it continues the rest of its distance. And... Come on, roll 20. Jeez. Okay, uh, Hopper, your turn. Alrighty, I'll just spin double move to get over here. As you leave its area of attack, nothing happens. Damn. I was waiting for it to be like, <laughs> it's like, fuck this bitch, and it tries to hit you back. Kicks you. Uh, Alakul, cool. just waiting. Or are you um, adventuring still? Welcome back. Um, to I'm going to take a couple steps and check for, like... So, the rock. Did I sense stepping on a plate when I, when I heard the uh, loud thunk? Nope. Okay. I'm still going to check for traps around me. Because I'm suddenly Kay. very suspicious. Okay. Uh, as far as your light will reach, you see no traps. Pareth. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Oh, this really is a corner. Okay. I'm going to maneuver over into this spot. Okay. <laughs> so another set of stairs, apparently. Yep. Similar to the ones that you saw on the right, uh, you see a set of stairways leading up uh, on the left-hand side as well. It's almost like we should have went this way the whole time. It's almost like we probably should have just gone up one of the staircases that's great. Can't see that far. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I cry inwardly as a bonus action. <laughs> I end my turn. Uh, Crying is a free action. Evander sees Hopper immediately jumps beside her and is like, where are we going? We got to get out of here. Oh, there were stairs on the other side here. Genius. And she flicks him in the forehead. <laughs> Uh, and he's going to hold the rest of his movement uh, and 
move to keep up with Hopper. Arsenog's following the statue. Uh, Carius, you're at the end of the hall. Still have uh, your double movement if you want. Um, where's the boulder? Uh, in the wall, all the way at the north. You guys got to the end of the, the hallway, and it just dead ends at the end of the hallway. Okay. Allegedly. I'm take another potion of healing. Okay. And so I'm confused. I'm just going to wait for somebody else to lead us to victory. <laughs> All right. Kalidus. <sighs> ah, 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 <laughs> ah, ah, I'm tired of running. Ah, Gee, almost like somebody should have let me keep carrying them. He might be a big boy who uses his big boy legs. I can run just fine, thank you. Uh, Hopper? I'm gonna keep moving. Okay. I think okay. I can get there. to here the stone giant continues on making its way That's towards the podium me. walking slowly right beside you um, to speed this up a little bit as you begin to investigate looking at the stairs the statue does make its way back to the podium as it does it stops and does a full 180 Stands still, its arms outstretched, and then click. I think. Yeah, should... you better run. We should not go back up. Huh. That that hallway. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Is that that's your expert opinion there. Hunched over, leaning on my knees. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh huh. I think uh, we might know why there's no giants in that hall. <laughs> yes. That seems like a terrible place to sleep. Okay, what are you guys doing? Uh, I'm gonna cast Healing Spirit, and then we're all gonna get ten turns to roll around. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're gonna cast it right here, and as you guys are doing that. We'll take our five minute break. Whoa. Yeah, just go ahead. Yeah, there you go. Just bulk heal it for us. Yeah, Everybody just... gets 31. Bulk okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Uh, five minute break. When we get back, we're going to see what they decide to do because this place is kind of terrifying in case they haven't caught on yet. So don't go anywhere. When we get back, we'll continue our game uh, and see where it leads. All right, so uh, we're ready to jump back into this. Thank you all for being here. Very much appreciate it. Five uh, bucks says if we took the stone giant thing and like poked that thing, the trap wouldn't have gone off. I trust nothing. Not after the last thing we poked. I think I'm just going to go stand somewhere. Wait for y'all to clear this <laughs> for me. <laughs> nope. You're coming right. with us. So you stand at the end of or the bottom of a stairwell in the northwestern corner of the map itself uh, to the south the same double doors similar to the ones that you came in from on the other side but these sealed up uh, on the other side uh, to prevent you from getting out here uh, you could go around if you wanted but what would you like to do? The Benny Hill theme comes to an end from us running in and out of healing spirit. Mm-hmm. Um, well, um, shall we go upstairs then? That seems maybe safer. I mean, it only seems safer because we don't know what's up there. That's true. It's safer in relation to a giant boulder. Hey, you know what? Stairs 
means the boulder rolls even faster. You're going first. You bring <laughs> up an excellent point, Alakul. Um, I'll be able to revive you. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, where did Harith go? Oh, there. Never mind. I see. Hopper skips her way up the stairs. Okay. Um, there's too many names. I got covered by names. Name, names, and names. As you make your way around the corner, you see a second set of stairs similar to the one that you just came up. Any, any more boulders? stairs. There's nope. no boulder. No just boulders. Just more stairs. All right. Um, Is there room to hide from those stairs just in case a boulder comes down from them? Um, no. I don't think so. Oh, I can't see very far though because you know. I'm a normal creature without freaky vision. That's some goddamn pride in your species. I think I'm just saying I'm not a freak. Are you ready, chat? I think one's vision makes them freakish. What is the marching order? <laughs> no! I'm going to keep Evander company in the back. I am oh. not going anywhere near the front. You are bad in a thousand here, Alec. <laughs> Son of a bitch! How could you do this again? And behind well, the back, I it mean, it could be because we don't have a trap finder. I'm not going up those stairs until I get the A-OK. I'm first. Okay. Who's second? Hey, you. Acarius. No, no, I said I'm first. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's hear me out. Hear me out, my dude. Can I get that 10-foot pole from you? Oh, yeah. No, you can have the pole. And then I'll be 10 <laughs> feet away from you. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. After all the, the things he's set off, I'm like 100 feet away from him. <laughs> <laughs> I will give him my collapsible pole. Okay. <laughs> you have a collapsible pole now. Cool. What's your home oh. life like, Shiny? Why do you want to die so badly? Okay. <sighs> what do you do? Do you proceed up the stairs? Using said 10 yeah. foot... God, why, why am I even using a pole if it's going to set off like a rock or something? Whatever. I'm going to use the pole and slowly go Hopper, up the steps. Hopper skips past him. Uh, no lows. Okay. <sighs> okay. Do you want me to roll an investigation check for this? No, not yet. So you go <laughs> to the... Okay. You go to the top of the stairs, the two of you standing side by side. Um, that's the top. Oh, 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 gotcha. Oh. Now do you want me to roll the uh, investigation check? Sure, if you want. Not that it's... Yeah, 17 is not bad. Uh, looking around for traps. Tap, tap, tap. Nothing. Okay. Hopper. Alec We're not dead yet. Um, I haven't found any traps yet. I think it's safe to get up here. It look, it's the floor level. Ish. Floor's level. The floor's at least level, guys. Do any of the walls look like they have any boulders in them? Uh, <laughs> Hopper, I can't see the walls. I'll take a quick look at the walls. Nope. <laughs> nope, they look like walls to you. <sighs> well, surely they wouldn't throw us another boulder at us, right? You have to believe me, you can't see it. This would be <laughs> fine. Kaylin is Harshnog's gonna follow you guys up, so he'll be You're fine. too oh, you're thanks, too buddy. In, you're too innocent for this world. And sometimes. I will follow Harshnog up. I yeah, okay. I'm fine with Harshnog going up front. Yeah. Okay. Uh we'll head up, I think. Okay. 
Welcome to the party, guys. Uh, you're a little late. If anything moves, Stand I'm running. Still. Stand still. Well, I don't wanna. I'm, I'm really antsy. Move you. Fucking boulders are flying all over the place. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Alright. Um, now what? Lead on, Hopper. Hella cool. Check for traps. Okay. Can do. How far do you want me to move before I make another investigation check, Forge? Uh, 40 feet. Well, 40 whatever feet? your movement is. So, 30 feet. 30. Yep. Yep, right there. Okay. Uh, tap, tap. Nothing. This so clear. This upstairs hallway is structured very similar to the one directly below it, save nope. for the fact that in the south, in this alcove, is a life-size statue of a female cloud giant wearing a very angry mask. Her arms kind of positioned in a way that suggests she's casting a spell. Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. Can can I suggest an idea? What? <laughs> why don't Tarshnag, if you don't mind, <laughs> why don't we go get the cloud giant thing and poke this thing on its little runes? That didn't work out so well last time. Yeah, well, I think that door might be. I mean, that door had all of the runes on it, right? This one just has the cloud giant runes on it, I'm assuming. And it's structured the same way as the statue downstairs. Uh, so the only thing that you see runes on are is the podium itself. And this one, in this case, is... Uh, the left center rune is all around the bottom uh, podium. But other than that, the like the walls are all just a very plain stone. The floors are plain. There's nothing ornate or decorative about any of this. Evander, do you sense any magic from the statue? He doesn't have detect magic. What? what kind of Oh wizard? my god, Ark, how do you not know how to build a fucking wizard? I unless he has I'm just looking, but uh, on his spell list he does not have detect magic and he does not have dispel magic. I thought he did detect magic last session. Uh, uh if he did, he doesn't have it on his spell list. Unless hold on. Is it in a book? Maybe it's what he had in a book. Let me check his magic items. Because he doesn't have any of that on his spell list at all, which I would think he would have, but... Let me check his... Oh, this is Ark, so, you know. Yeah. Got to equate I, laziness. I have no... <sighs> yeah, I don't, don't want it. I'll do it myself. Where is his book that I gave him? I got it. You got what? Oh, detect magic. Okay. I'm looking for his other spell book. Um, no, his other spell book does not have it. And actually... No, he didn't add those spells in here. Okay. Uh, no, his other spell book also does not have it. Uh, but if you... Use detect magic. Let me get back to my notes. Da, da, it says use detect magic. Thirty feet of you. You see nothing within thirty feet of you. I don't. I don't see anything. Oh, it's it's probably a trap, though. I'm just saying it's I would rather try the put, doing the cloud giant thing and have it just be a waste of time than not do it and then find out that that was the thing to do. 
if you want to try convincing Harshnag to go get it and carry it all the way up here. Harshnag, would you go get the Cloud Giant weapon? You want me to go by myself? I, do, you, I mean, do you want me to hold your hand, big guy? I mean, I always enjoy the company of you smaller folk. Well, there you go, Hopper. Oh, go uh -huh. oh, all right. Mama getting lucky tonight, Hopper. <laughs> straightens up her hair and goes with Harshnag. Uh, well, that mental image horrifying her <laughs> slightly. Um, okay, checking something. One second. Da -da. God, roll 20. Stop. Stop. We could stop, or we could just lag up everything. Yeah. That's pretty much, you know. I think we're going to do okay. two options. All right. So, uh, Harshnog and Parath head down, or not Parath, Hopper head downstairs. You go back down, uh, you said the Cloud Giant. Is that what you were getting? Uh, yeah, because this is a Cloud Giant statue, right? Mm-hmm. So my logic is maybe touching the cloud giant weapon to the runes will deactivate whatever it is. I don't know. Okay. Uh, so Hopper and Harshnag go downstairs. Uh, they walk back into Anam's temple uh, and walk over to Memnor, the cloud giant. Uh, and he reaches up, grabbing this very fancy looking ornate mithril spear and pulls it out of the hands of Memnor and accompanies it up back to the top again. Uh, this time coming up the other set of stairs with uh, Hopper accompanying him. As the two are going and, you know, he's just getting the directions of, you know, what you guys are wanting to do and things like that. Uh, again, he he doesn't understand any of this like he doesn't understand why it's so complicated because he's only heard fables of this place he's never actually been here uh, so none of this to him makes any sense but if this is what you guys believe that is going to solve it he's willing to try so he takes the spear and he walks up and touches it to the podium, touching one of the runes on the base of the podium. I apologize if I just fucked us by I'm way. watching for any kind of arcane, like, weaves being crafted when this happens. And preparing counterspell. Okay. Anybody else? I'm just watching. No, I'm just going to keep my staff ready. Okay. I'm just dead there. Okay. Nothing happens. We're not dead. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Right. Is that? Are we good now? I mean, I don't. I don't know. I guess not. Oh, so so sorry, Arshnag. Uh. I think you can just leave it here for right now next to the statue. Uh, okay. Think... So you want him to place the, the staff on the floor here? Wait, the staff? Oh, the spear. spear. I'm sorry. Oh, spear. okay. I was going to say, if it was a staff... That other pulley s sounding the weapon. The s yes. The pulley s big stick. weapon. Big stick does, with does points this, on it. Does does uh, this cloud giant look like it could be given the spear? It does not. Uh, it, as you're kind of looking at it, uh, it has its hand kind of pointed outward, uh, a finger extended, the other fingers kind of curled up, but it doesn't look like it's like in, in a position or in a way that it would hold anything. Like you feel if you put something in its hand, it would just fall out immediately. Well, I... but the other one moved. Harshnag, try giving the thing to the statue. 
I mean, the other one moved around, is my logic behind it. Yeah, but its arms never moved. It always had them outstretched and preparing to catch that boulder even when it was just pushing it. Yeah. I don't think they're sentient constructs. They're just magic things, and this one probably is going to do something untoward to us. So, who's the bravest among us, then? <laughs> Hopper, are you volunteering? Always. You only live once. Not that's a that's a new phrase I'm trying out. Do you think uh, it'll stick? I, I might I, don't know. I might shorten it, uh, speed it up because you know every second you're dying a little more. I might just like shorten it to like Y O L O and just say I that. Cast what do you think? Do you think that'll stick? Blast. <laughs> it, uh, it, it might stick. Well, all right. As the it, kids are saying, there's only one way to YOLO. see if it'll uh, stick. Yes, by all means, Hopper, go into the passageway where you might die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please, He's like, just I'm okay die. With just, die. just die. Just go. Just go. Just all die. Right, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start heading down. Be okay. careful, but if something oh, well, happens... you know, I'm already halfway down, but if you want me to be careful, I guess that's... No. <laughs> uh, uh, as soon as you. you step forward, Hopper... Oh, fun! <laughs> uh, you also sense the incline of the floor here. Incline! Oh. Oh, dear. Wow. Alakul, come poke around with your stick. <laughs> this room is, as Hopper, as you start mm. making your way up the hallway, you're noticing this hall is very, very cold. Ooh, chilly. Oh, it's not a bolt. It wouldn't be a boulder this time. It'd be a snowball. <laughs> yeah, except, uh, you know, made of solid ice. Yeah, okay. yeah, I suppose. I'm gonna check in this room. Okay. Investigation check. What do I see in that room? Uh, aside from a layer, a very thin layer of frost that covers everything N literally nothing there are no rugs no furs nothing it is empty entirely empty this room's empty if Opera. anyone gets hurt just yell really loudly and I'll come to you Hopper, oh, you remember you here. You're, we now know what to do if we hear a thud sound, right? <laughs> you run really fast. Now you ain't outrun it. Well, well, I mean, the door's closed before we could do anything. Yes, and I feel like if we, uh... Huh? Oh. Harshnag yeah. also looks around, <laughs> finding nothing Scared in this chamber. Forge. What, because I'm rolling things? <laughs> He's rolling wisdom saves, and we're like, wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. You are compelled to move forward. <laughs> you are compelled to attack the party. Harshnog draws his great sword, or great axe. Uh, uh, Parrot's, human. Parrot's gonna look on the other side of the statue. I'm just assuming I'm gonna find the other set of stairs, though. Correct. And I do. Okay, yeah, All right. Well... This is not my favorite place in the world. <laughs> it's no, a this bit place frightening. sucks. Uh, I'm going to check up in this room. Does it look exactly like the previous one? Exactly. Oh, what are the point of these rooms? I think they're just trap rooms. <laughs> <laughs> I thought people lived in them. This dungeon I think is it's all such a lie. A fuck. It's so this is, <laughs> is there even an oracle here? Can we get bamboozled? <laughs> yeah. 
got we got bamboo. We, sh- we should have just joined the Harpers. <laughs> Nobody in the Harpers. Let's be honest. Okay. Uh, what are you guys doing? I'm, I'm waiting. I have no interest in going this hallway. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going down this hallway. Not after what happened last time. Ain't happening. I'm just listening for screams. Well, we came to the. We went to the other side where there were stairs leading up. So this has to lead somewhere else at the other end because there was nothing else at the end of that first hall. Except a giant rock. Well, yeah, because we triggered the trap. We need to, like, not trigger the trap. Unless said rock, said wall is not actual. Unless there's, like, a secret thing where the rock was. <sighs> Technically didn't look that far. We could try our luck down this end. Also sees nothing on this end. Um, eh. I really don't like going this far, but whatever. Acarius, um, how long does your detect magic last? Uh, it's still going for a little while. Um, I know that it's not safe, but maybe you should go with them to see if you see any magic. That, that sounds terrible, but where, where where are they? I'm just pointing at the hallway. They went that way. I'm going to peek around the corner. Are, are you guys dead yet? Yes. No. Do, do you think there's anything magical down there? There well, might be. The storm giant clearly looks like a wizard, so probably. Uh, Alec, cool. Yes. <laughs> I hate you. As like, you I enter, might actually hate you. As you enter into this room. Yes. And you start looking around. It sounded your eye weird. catches something. <laughs> yes. A small stitched leather bag resting directly underneath the bed to your left. Um, can I check for traps? It's yep. a little suspicious. Sure. It's mm, safe, right? No traps. It's just a bag. It's a leather bag. Um. I mean, I'd like to... who? What kind of madman would trap a leather bag? <laughs> Think um, really hard before you answer that question. Um. N- n- nobody, right? Yeah. Nobody traps leather bags. They're, they're all completely safe, especially this one. Uh, I'd like to pull it out with the ten foot pole. Okay. And poke it. You reach forward and you poke the t- the bag with the ten foot pole. The bag is pretty big sized. It's you could tell it's giant size. Uh, it's like a satchel for a giant. Oh. Um, as you poke it, nothing happens. Hopper, can you come over here, please? Hi. Yeah, okay. I've got something interesting. Ooh, interesting. Look at this giant bag. Whoa. That is the biggest sack I've ever seen. Right? Um. <laughs> I'd like to. Hopper, open can you it? take a step left, please? My left or yours? Uh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> West. <laughs> yep, there you go. Okay. Because I'm sealing you guys in here forever. You're not getting out after that. <laughs> Fuck this Rejoice. shit. You're done. You're done. Uh, he shows you this this very just hastily. It looks very hastily made stitched leather bag. Uh, as he pulls it out, 
uh, it's probably about, I don't know, six foot by six foot in size. Uh, pretty big size bag. Uh, are you opening it? Is it possible to open it with a 10 foot pole? Uh, it's not really tied tight or anything like that. It's just kind of pulled like. Hopper opens it. Uh, okay. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you. Reach in, you open the bag, and inside of the bag, you find the following items a bundled tent for a medium sized creature. A carved wooden statue of a wood elf. Three severed frozen dwarf heads. Two male and one female. One of which has ten gold teeth in its mouth. Is one of them asking to get paid? (laughs) No. At the bottom of the sack, however, one final item catches your eye. A slender shard of ice, uh, roughly the size of a dagger, and just above the hilt, the rune on the bottom right of the archway runes is inscribed within it and glows. Um, Arshnag! That's, that's the frost giant. The one that matches the base of the frost giant, if I remember right. Wasn't that one? Didn't we need to activate that one? It, uh. Something like that. Uh, Harshnag comes over and joins you and says, Yes, what did you need? We found something that looks like it belongs to the frost giants, and she'll, uh, hold it up. Uh, he takes it into his hand, uh, looking it over, and immediately kind of recognizes this item. Um, noticing the magical properties of it, obviously, with the ru- the rune kind of glowing. Um, he looks at it and says, "If if I'm not wrong, that's that's a shard of the East Room." Oh yeah, that's what I thought too. But uh, uh, for Alec Cool's sake, can you explain what that is? The what? Um, he looks at you and thinks for a second and says, "This this dagger has magical properties. When you spend time focusing on it, it will affect you differently each time you use it." Hmm. Okay. At least that's how I understand magic. I'm not quite good at it myself. That's that's fair. Um Forge, how big is it? Is it like humanoid sized? Uh, or is it for, giant sized dagger? So for For humanoids it is longer than a dagger but shorter than a short sword. Classified as a dagger, it would classify as an oversized dagger. Okay. Oh, uh, and what's with these uh, dwarf head? Also, uh, what about him? I'm I'm asking Harshnag. Sorry. Oh, uh, Harshnag kind of shrugs his shoulders and kind of shakes his head like he doesn't know. Oh. Probably a snack for later. There's a reason I'm not with my other tribe. I'm not like them, you know. I know. So they're they're kind of like trophies, I'm guessing. Mm, harsh not kind of nods. I'm gonna leave the gold in the head and put the heads back in the bag um as soon as he does Hopper starts pulling the gold teeth out okay 
They're worth one gold each. And how many were there? Oh, wait. Ten of them. Ahead. I'll add that on. Um, I'm going to take everything else, though. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you have a tent, a carved wooden statue, or, yeah, a carved wooden statue of a wood elf. Um, you left the three severed heads and the uh, uh, shard of and East Rune. Dagger. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, Hopper, did you find anything in the rooms on that side at all yet? You didn't see anything uh, over there, right? No, no. And for the sake of brevity, you found nothing else in these chambers. As you get towards the end, uh, wondering what, as you start getting a little further and further down, wondering what lies ahead, uh, you notice the hallway and the rooms themselves are collapsed onto themselves uh, at the end uh, preventing any further passage and from that uh, kind of seeping between the rocks uh, is where you feel this kind of cold uh, burst of air that kind of comes through the hallway and has frozen most of this upper hallway here it feels like it's uh, collapsed in on itself and out Side is leaking in. Mm -hmm. All right, back down. Okay. A lot of uh, frozen stuff, huh? All right. So, what is the current plan? Well, I think we found what we might have been looking for. I don't know. The dagger was certainly interesting. Um, yeah, let's double yes. back and check in with everyone else. Who are okay, probably I'll put everybody so here. Uh, Add the dagger? We're going to just, just stack more everybody. more of a short sword, but... Uh, Can't use those. Are you heading back to the temple, then? Sure. Yeah. Uh, because uh, right the, other, the other hallway is a death hall. Okay. So then I'll move you back here. Hey, don't discount this hallway. It could be a death hallway. Did we die in that hall? I mean, we didn't have a chance to. Almost. Doesn't mean it's not. Okay. Uh, so you make your way back into this chamber. Do you grab oh. this? Do you grab the spear on the way back? Yes. Yeah. Harshman. <laughs> yes. I shouldn't have said anything, but that's fine. Harshnog, could uh, you please grab the spear and bring it back and put it so back with the storm? Harshnog struggles a little as he lifts up the spear, brings it back, setting it back on uh, Memnor's. Uh, in Memnor's hand down here to the southeast. What would you like to do? I'm, I'm going to dagger over. on that ice thing. Here. Ice guy. Climb up the statue <sighs> and uh, place the ice dagger in his hand. Uh, in whose hands? Theorem? The, the ice, the frost giant statue. Uh, yeah. So he has his great axe in his hands that you guys oh, retrieved right. from the south. <clears throat> Arshnag, could you, uh, could you come help me out? Okay. Arshnag comes over. I want to try swapping the axe for this dagger. Okay. Harshnog reaches up, struggles a bit to lift the the axe off, holding it in his arms. Are you putting the dagger up for him? Yes. Okay. And... 
Nothing happens. <sighs> okay, I take the dagger back. Okay. You can put the axe back. This is all very confusing. You're telling me. Agreed. He puts the axe back in the hands of Theorem. Um, huh. Are there, in, there aren't any other doors, though, right? Just I mean... that gate to the east. That's it. Did so we what ever are we, what are we down here? What did you ask, Calidus? I wonder if we ever investigated the southern end of the uh, the initial hallway we came in. Uh, what do you mean? I'm like, my vision stops there, so I can't see anything past that. I don't remember if somebody went up there or not. I thought people did. Uh, yeah, I mean, I went up here chasing after the guy. Yeah. Yeah, they went up there, and that was the the hallway that led to uh, Port Collis here. Okay, so it's mirrored from the north and south then. Yeah, you you probably don't want to go down there. There's a dead guy down there. Oh, well, that's what I, remains of a dead guy. I will not ask questions. Well, I mean, you heard him die. I was concentrating on other things. He was pretty loud. Okay, what is the plan? <clears throat> Has anyone investigated this dagger more closely? It's a magical I'm sure if dagger. Evan, I'm sure if Evandor wants to be helpful, he can figure it out for us. Can he identify? Be nice if he had something useful. Oh. Please tell me he ha at That's least has identify. I gotta look, because I don't know. Uh, Ark's notebook. Um. Oh, right. He used uh, Detect Magic because it was one of the spell scrolls. Uh. That's how he was using it. Unless he has something written somewhere that I can't even read. But, uh, and pulling up his character sheet. I have so many character sheets open right now. Uh, nope. <sighs> he has mage armor, shield, chromatic orb, enlarge, reduce, scorcher, rope trick, fireball, and uh, no. Most of damage. I'm checking hmm. all Calidus, other could you pray to your patron for a hint? I could try. I don't really hear from her often, though. I talk to you all the time. Don't flatter yourself, Pareth. Well, that, is a, he has to. that is a lot of rejection today. Um, God. you were the first one she went to go save after that boulder, too. If it wasn't for all of my healing pa her powers, I would probably think otherwise. Yeah, that's why she goes to save you. It seemed like a logical choice. I'm pulling up his character sheet on Rule 20, or D&D Beyond, to see if he's missing stuff off of it. Uh, uh, yep, he is. He didn't fill out his character sheet in Roll20, so I didn't have it here. He does have Detect Magic as a ritual. But identify. Mm, nope. Nope, just detect magic. That's it. 
Time to figure out if it's cursed. Somebody wield it. What is it? A short sword? No, it's a dagger. Oversized an oversized dagger. dagger. Uh, so it would functionally be a short sword. Like it would be d6 damage. No, it would. It functionally isn't truly a dagger. It's just a big dagger, so it's, it's like a the bowie size knife. of a dagger. Oh, all right. Or the I size mean, of a giant sized dagger. Sure, I can <laughs> do that. I'll pick it up and start poking around the air. Do I feel cursed? <laughs> Take a few steps away from Parrot. I take a few steps towards Kalidus because he's being kind of an idiot today. Uh, nope, you don't feel cursed. Are you attuning to it then? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. Unless anybody else wants it. I feel like a dagger would be wasting on me. Well, if you want me to, but. Yeah, I, I have no need for that. All right, I'll attune to it and scratch my head about this door, which I'm willing to bet the answer is literally just standing there in front of us. And it's just not. Um, oh. I'm adding this to your character sheet, Rez. Okay. Or not character sheet, but your inventory of magic items. Gotcha. So you guys spend about an hour short rest time uh, for Para to attune to this. Well, anything, Para? I haven't been shown it yet. It's, I don't like... it's in your magic items. So click magic um, items. Yep. I, then... I see it. I see the list. I don't see it, though. It's at the bottom. The shard oh, of the ice. Okay, I got you. The doom dagger of death killing. <laughs> Cursed. I feel like you're lying. Another 10 feet be. away? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Just... Oof. <sighs> All right. Let's see. That's like, uh, okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's also pretty cool. Is it? Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff it's on this pretty thing. Pretty freaking incredible. <laughs> I might have to. I might have to start stabbing things. <laughs> you can't. St uh, it, it doesn't function as a dagger or a sword. I know. None of I'm you. No. I'm. I'm teasing. I, and besides, just. You I stab somebody anything? with it and it shatters into a million pieces. The end. It, it's Challenge a shitty accepted. magic item. <laughs> it breaks like that. Challenge accepted, Forge. Challenge accepted. <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. You stab somebody and then cast Mending. Does it open doors? <laughs> no. No, no, it definitely doesn't do that. So, I've been thinking about this, and, um... Uh, it'll take a lot of work to test our giant friend, but... What if, um... Well, the runes on the door there correspond with the location of the giant and you're supposed to pair the weapon with the location in the rune and not the type of giant I mean we can try that uh yeah okay why don't we try that I'm out of ideas yeah, like honestly. Yeah, I'm. I'm you honestly. You have my I'm, support. Okay. Yep, I'm. I'm literally scratching my head about how to do this. So I guess we're gonna have it. So, um, we're gonna put fire weapon there, cloud there, 
hill there. Yep. And then storm, stone, ice. Okay. Yep. And Arshnog reorganizes all of them. Nothing happens. Okay. I'm out of ideas. <laughs> I got nothing, man. I guess, okay. I don't know. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go touch the shard on the on the wall. Oh no! Okay. What what is this? Sta- what is the big statue in the middle again? Refresh us on that. That is the All Father. Does he look like he wants all of his children to finally stop holding their presents and actually give it to them? Or give it to him? He, as, uh, I kind of talked about this again in the intro but he looks like he's like reaching out reaching forward towards the uh the gate not in a way like he's wanting to hold something but like he's like trying to grab onto something like his it's just out of his reach hold on has anybody actually tried to walk through the mist yes and got no that idea. was that was how we started with the problem. Because I know we threw the staff and the collapsible stick and uh, yeah, that's true. I don't you, think I don't anybody's think anybody... tried to walk through it. No, but yeah, you did try to throw the stick through it, and nothing happened. An inanimate object. I try to walk through. Okay. And you're stopped by a magical barrier that prevents you from entering. That didn't work. I was gonna laugh if that actually worked though. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna invest, <laughs> I'm gonna investigate the statue. The bed okay. the all father statue, because I'm so out of ideas. Okay. All right, that's the rule. If there's something there, that's the rule that'll get it. Okay. Uh, well, I mean... The DC is 20. <laughs> it's possible. Um, you're looking around at the statue. You're trying to find an answer. Um, do you speak giant? I do actually speak giant. As you're reading through, you're noticing... While there are the same type of runes that go all the way around uh, this uh, this podium, this one's different. It has a different look to it. Uh, you've seen it before, mostly when you've read about the Allfather, uh, and it's the the King rune, uh, indicating obviously that he's above all the other giants. Is their god. Um, but as you're looking, you notice a very small sliver of text at the bottom pointed towards this gate that says, may each giant present their weapon. Hopper breaks everything. We need to... All the weapons need to go to the door. Uh, Harshnog kind of looks at you and kind of tilts his head a bit and says, What do you mean, all the weapons? Uh, To open the door, we have to present all of the weapons. That's what, that's what he wants. That's what the Allfather wants. Uh, wouldn't make any sense. I mean, that's what I read. What did it say? To present the weapons. Maybe we gotta put them in front of the statue. May each giant present their weapon. Oh, may each giant present their well, well, then that means <laughs> they are all they are all presenting their weapons. 
All right. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We got hill they giant. They all have their weapons. <laughs> all right. Hill giant. On the bottom, it's hill giant from left to right. Hill giant, fire giant, storm giant, right? Correct. Uh, cloud giant. Bottom right. Or oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, cloud. And then, and then top, then left to right. Stone, frost, and cloud. Cloud. Okay. Starting with hill giant, he has the bone club, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Fire giant. What's fire giant holding? Uh, fire giant. Hold on. Let me pull up my list here. Da -da. Come on, roll 20. Uh, the fire giant is holding a uh, very large iron greatsword. Actually, for the sake of brevity... Um, Harshnag, all these giants are holding weapons. Do the weapons make sense for each giant? Is it normal for, say, a, a fire giant to be holding a greatsword, or would it make more sense to, for it to be holding a bone club? No. The weapons do seem to make sense. Shit. Perith, what did you say the statue said? Uh, may each giant present their weapon? Well, if I know my kin, like I would like to think I do, none of them are going to show up here together. You're never going to get a uh, frost and a fire giant in the same room together without a fight. There has to be a way that each one can get in by themselves. Uh, so... We tried. So, what you're saying is it's not a question of adding them, it's a question of removing certain ones that maybe wouldn't get along with each other. No. What I'm saying do you, is... Do you need to present it because your people didn't come here to do so? Possibly. I attempted to use the hill giants but we saw what happened when i did that so maybe you should try presenting the frost giant one that's what i'm thinking and with that Go for it harshnag reaches up and grabs the very fancy frozen axe lifts it up and walks over towards the gate why does it keep putting me on fucking GM lair? Because fuck you! Apparently. Walks back over towards the gate. Um, taking the frost giant axe, the great axe, and reaching down, leaning forward, touching it against the east rune in the bottom right. The gateway glows brilliantly, and as it does, on the other side, you can see a room. I knew it. I'm done. We were so close at the beginning of the session. <laughs> it's I'm true. Done. We're all idiots. I'm, Let's I'm, go. I'm, <laughs> I'm done. I'll talk to y'all later. Why didn't we think to have try the Frost Giant? <laughs> oh. Because that wouldn't make sense, having the Frost Giant do the thing with the... Did, Not just that, the... but it was the only one missing from the room. What was the I logic? Feel, I, feel like, I feel like last session we should have gone over this if we didn't, because yes, it was the one we went to recover from the southern room, guys. Uh -huh. Hopper is not smart, but you Why all the are. Why the why did we have a, why did I'm legitimately asking what was the logic behind us having him do the hill giant one? Uh, like, it I was it was remember. to start oh. from the bottom tier and work your way up through the rooms was what you guys that wanted was, to do. That was yeah, what Fourth wanted to do. Yeah. Smart enough to figure oh this out. Okay, so that everybody. <laughs> I mean. Okay, look. So I 
at the end, I was like, all right, they're not fucking getting this puzzle. I've got to help them somehow. I've got to do something. I was you like, have I got to convince. Dude, it wasn't happening. And I was like, okay, okay, I'm done. I, I've got to help. It, I, I think it actually got to the point where it's like, when we put all the weapons in place, we weren't going to think like, oh, we have to like take we have to like take the frost giant one because at that yeah. point we had already put it in the pile so it's like we weren't going to think that one was unique anymore <laughs> yeah okay and except for the fact we're with a frost giant yep uh, and it's and we've it's been a... playing dd collectively for probably <laughs> about 50 years total <laughs> all and <of> together <laughs> the, and the worst part about that was is i honestly thought you were going to take the shard of the east rune and touch it, and holy fuck, you would have hated your life if you did. I'm, I'm just saying. All right, but so do it, when, do when, it. When the, <laughs> when the stream's over, tell me what would have happened. Oh my god! Oh, I, I is... do the thing just to spite everything. Yeah, this, this is... doesn't look like much of an improvement over our uh... situation. <laughs> okay. What kind uh -huh. of serial killer shit did we just walk into? <laughs> oh, trust me. Here it what goes. What are they summoning? Are you ready? Are you ready? No. <laughs> no, All right. not really. <laughs> Beyond the thundering archway lies a hexagonal chamber whose walls rise 50 feet before tapering off to a 90 foot high apex. Standing in each corner of the room is a life-size statue of each giant holding up a heavy iron lantern in one hand each type of giant is represented the hill stone frost fire cloud and storm a cold magical light radiates from each one of the lanterns illuminating a giant corpse that is lying on the floor oh um that it? That's all I'm reading right now, yes. <laughs> okay. What, is the, what does the corpse look like? Uh, you'd have to get closer. From where you stand, there's a coating of uh, ice that covers it. Is that close enough? Nope. Would it kill you to roll with perception before you moved up just once? Just once, man. <laughs> I'm not yeah. a trap finder, sir. Not you, the fucking paladin. <laughs> you expect me? What? 17. Do I see anything suspicious on the way up? Nothing. Nothing suspicious. The magical light from the lanterns is all you see. And the dead frost giant. Hey, can I check for traps? Sure. Are you paranoid? Why are you paranoid? Oh. Can't fucking imagine. I don't know what you're saying. You see no traps? Uh, e. Eh. Eh. Okay. I want to get closer. Stand there, then. Uh, looking over, uh, as you take a few steps forward, looking over the body of this fallen giant. Uh, it looks as though it's been here for quite some time, coated in a very, very heavy layer of frost, preserved by the cold. On the giant. The corpse wears a golden chest plate, and next to the body rests a giant morning star, both of which are also coated with a layer of frost. This is what you see as you approach and watch as a spectral image of the giant begins to appear in front of it. Kill the White Walker! Um, Kill the White Walker! That's a uh, reference I kind it, of understand. As it slowly begins to rise from the body of this corpse, uh, the vision before you, the spirit of a cloud giant. As you approach the fallen body, the ghost speaks out to you. Halt, small one. Why have you come to disturb my eternal slumber? 
Can I just say you have a really cool voice? <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Simba. <laughs> <laughs> Everything the light touches <laughs> is in Cloud Giant Kingdom, Simba. <laughs> James Earl Jones, is that you? <laughs> Alakula, I think he's talking to you. Yeah, I know. Um. Um. Why did we come here, you guys? Oh my god. See the oh Oracle! God. Yes, I'm, I'm guessing he is the Oracle. Going out on a limb Are here. you the oracle? Um, it listens, kind of processing all of this, that, and listening to each of you make your conversations, and it stops. No, I am not the oracle. If you wish to speak with it, you'll need to move my body. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, well, then I guess that's why we're disturbing your slumber. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, it's a pretty pretty one-for-one one Do cause I believe spectral there. scary man? Yeah. You have no reason to doubt him. Because he's right. 19, and you got um, an 18, which is lower. Just say it. It was a dead body. Okay, if we have to move your body... um. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to move your body, and I hope you're okay with that. He watches. Um, Harshnag. Yes. I think I'm going to need a little help. What would you like me to do? We gotta move this guy's body. Um, I don't think I can move it by myself. And I'll help. Kinda big. Okay. Uh, Arshnog walks over and as he approaches, uh, the ghost once again speaks out. You care not for who I am, or why I am here? Uh... We're kind of a morally ambiguous kind of group. <laughs> who... Who are you? And why are you here? Sounds like, sounds like you're really interested to tell us. Hmm. Morally ambiguous. Perhaps you're not the type that needs to see the Oracle. Wow. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait to ruin this, Paris. Oh, yeah, because you were doing a bang up job. I'm going to move hey. forward. Um, Spirit, we, despite what my friends say, we come here for answers. There's a plight that our world is facing currently the the ordning has been broken and we're seeking ways to fix that that's why we're here that is why we want to um speak to the oracle you'll need to do so quickly you'll have an hour before the gate behind you closes well okay thank you for that information um, that is good to know. Can you quickly tell us who you are and why you're here? If we only have an hour? My name is Agaron, son of Blagothgus. I'm here because, like many giants before us, my father and I came to the Eye of the All-Father seeking wisdom. Our trip to the Divine Oracle gave us much wisdom, telling us of a great upheaval, which would upset the balance of power in the world and give all giants an opportunity to win the respect of our god and bring glory to our race. The shattering 
of the Ordning, as you mentioned, is why we came. But the Oracle had other news for my father. The Oracle told him that no matter his actions, he could never impress the gods enough to earn their favor. They urged me to step out from beneath my father's dark shadow and forge my own path. My father was overcome with despair and envy. When I was slain, my father left this temple and never returned. And he killed you. The ghost nods. So your father's the one that wanted to break the ordning? No. Did that's, I completely that's... miss I, I think I misheard all of that. I apologize. So let me see if I got this. They came here because the ordning was broken. There was nothing his dad could do. Um, they came here seeking wisdom. They learned that the ordning was going to be broken. Uh, they beseeched trying to win the favor of the gods, but it said that Bulgothus could not win the favor of the gods, uh, and that Agarod could, and seeming, from what we're understanding, in jealousy, Bulgothus killed his son, who is the one talking to us. Oh, I did not even get close to spelling that name right. Well, that's definitely not a good way to get the gods' attention. Or as a perfect way to get their attention if they say they like him. The son that they killed. But, sounds like his plan backfired, regardless. So, we just need to, what, scoot you two feet to the left and that'll be good to go see the Oracle? Um... Look, I don't like most people, but uh, is can we do something proper to give you a burial? Um, Leaving does, you in the middle of a, a room seems kind of... Shot in the dark here. Does Evandor know animate dead? No. Motherfucker. <laughs> Worst wizard ever. Worst wizard. <laughs> um, I, I, we, I could definitely probably help out with that. Do you have animate dead? Uh, I, I don't like using this, but. I mean, the Raven Queen. Of, no, no, she wouldn't approve. <laughs> I'm going to turn my back to this, and you can go ahead and animate that skeleton, that body, so we can move him. Um, Save your before... spell. I wish not to be brought back. But. Oh, well, I, we I must move you. I meant, I meant making you a zombie, but okay. Let's. I, I was gonna talk do about that. like doing a proper burial, or I don't uh, know what. I just meant for the purposes meant of for, getting the task done. Uh, kind of hearing Parrot talking about a burial and things of that nature. Blagothgus uh, or Blagothgus, uh, Egeron. Uh, stops and kind of thinks for a moment and says if you wish to pay your respects for me then you will find my father and you will slay him like he has slain me you can take my breastplate uh, and the rune that I have in my hand use those to your advantage when you bring him down do you know where he is? Uh, he thinks and shakes his head. No. Standing right behind you. <laughs> Roll for initiative, chuckle fucks. <laughs> yeah, because uh, there's, there's this problem where we're stuck in here. So if he's as, not in the temple, we're kind of... As you're talking, uh, Harshnog's moving the, the dead body 
out from the center. As it moves uh, and the body kind of slides against the floor, uh, it scrapes off this layer of frost that kind of covers it. And as it does, it reveals etched into the floor a 20-foot diameter mithril inlaid circle with runes wrapped all around it. Well, that seems important. Uh, I'd like to go retrieve the rune from Igaron's hand. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to do anything with this breastplate. Uh, I mean, they... Most breastplates have like ties on the side. You can... Right. Fasten them and pull the the armor off. Right. I mean, I know how to get it off. Yeah. I will. I I'm currently wearing a breastplate, so if it's like fancy breastplate, magic breastplate, I will magical size. I will happily. I will this happily take that breastplate I will... on a giant. By the way. Yes. Uh, Forge is Forge is saying it can be adjusted to fit. That was that was what I picked up from that, right? Yep. Oh, okay. I will uh, pull it off. I will remove it from his body, also. Okay. I'm taking five minutes or so to kind of pull it off because it takes a little bit of work to get it out, uh, to get it off of him. Uh, as you unfasten it and you hold it in your hands, it resizes to the size of a medium-sized creature. Hmm. Hmm. So. We've got to speak to this oracle now. Okay. How uh, does this work? Uh, as you ask, uh, and you kind of start to, to gather around this circle, uh, you look down and you see a bunch of runes marked in it. Does anybody speak Dwarvish? No. I... no. I'm boring in my life. Snow just laughs from whatever he is right now. <laughs> I could translate for 30 gold. Yeah, I don't speak Dwarven. I do not either. I speak Giant, which is kind of a dialect of Dwarven. <laughs> Um, as I don't, I don't actually think it is. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, they're similar. They use similar fonts, but um, as you're kind of looking over it, and everybody's like, "No, I can't read it." Uh, Igaron speaks up and says, "The script which encircles this reads: Ask your question and know the truth. Stand within the circle." And ask the oracle your question, and it shall answer. I feel like Kalidus is the most responsible person to ask this question. Mm-hmm. Parath is just going to be like, will he ever notice me? I didn't say that okay. this time. Just so I <laughs> Burning Parath. Okay. Why do uh, I stay with have, you people? <laughs> currently have 40 minutes. Um, okay, so I'll start walk. Before I get into the circle, I'll address Agaron. Um, will it answer more than one question, or just one? Uh, I'm gonna move this to here, so you can see where the circle is. Okay. Um. Uh, Agaron looks at you and says, It will answer six questions before daybreak. Very well. Start with why the giants are so pissed off. They're pissed off because the ordering is broken. Do you why not pay attention to anything? No! Uh, Haven't you figured that out yet? So why why is their giant god pissed off? I'm pulling my notes up. Give me a second. 
Uh, this part is going to extend for a bit. Is everybody okay with sticking through? I've got no to be. Be long enough to to finish the conversation here, if that's what you're wanting I mean, to do. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm not, I, I'm not doing a whole lot of talking myself. I'll be listening. Yeah, okay. I'm also doing that, but I'm totally going to poach the last question and ask if Kaladis will ever notice me. Okay, then if we're going to do that, I need just a couple minutes. Uh, I got to step away for a second, and then when I come back, we can do the question and answer. Cool, I can think for a second. Yeah, Neat. yeah. Okay, so ready. we'll do that. Let's be real. We all know the answer to that last <laughs> question. Uh, all right, so five minutes. No like two minutes just gonna grab something to drink and get back uh but yeah i'll be right back don't go anywhere all right so we're coming back thank you guys for being here and sticking it out with us well you got probably another half hour here depending on how they do it so uh, just waiting on them, listening for a second. All right. You guys ready? No. <laughs> Hell no. Okay. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Um, <laughs> okay. Why is your security system so stupid? <laughs> um... Oh, don't um, forget to ask if there's a back exit. That's on my list. No, we can't. I have. We can't leave my my movable rods. Well, one of them's technically on the outside. No, they're <clears throat> they're both. Well, actually, yeah, the one is. One of them's outside. Yeah, one of them's outside. Come on, man! At least get one back. The other one's I want both of them. destroyed. Yeah. Uh, it is. I mean, well, the amount of, of damage, the amount of oh, damage of that were... it would have taken. Yeah, it would have shattered. Would, that rope would none take of them. At all. None of them were underneath the rocks. Oh no, you're right. It was between it, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah so they no, were... there's they're still fine. The rope was just yanked off of them. Yeah, the the ropes got the yeah. most that would have happened to them is they both got yanked yeah. down like mm -hmm. to the ground because of the pressure. All right, so. Nobody gave me any other questions to ask. <laughs> um, I said ask... Mm. What, How did the queen is, die, uh, I think, is a good one. What is Clouth's role in all of this? The, the, the red dragon? Oh. He's the dragon in the north. Yes, I have notes going back that far. I'm proud of myself. But, but is that something we know, or is that something the other group knew? Shit, you're right. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I stopped my notes at, set, at that session. I don't ever look back any further. <laughs> I'm okay with forgetting that. All right. <clears throat> so I'm just going to start out with the first one. Okay. Um, well, this seems important. Maybe we'll get an answer. Where is Storm King Hecton? Uh, as you stand in the the center of this uh this circle inlay uh and you ask your questions and suddenly i'm on the wrong layer uh one of the lights go out and you hear unknown that's not the right one uh <laughs> yeah we i that one was i don't even think i that that wasn't a word Oh, unknown. I'll enunciate. <laughs> I would appreciate that. That was a little hard to, to parse through. I understand. Okay. Okay. Well, this is going well. Um. Well, I guess the most pressing question is. What was this place called? The Temple of the Allfather? Mm hmm. Yeah. Is there another way to leave the Temple of the Allfather that isn't the front door?
There are hidden passages all throughout this temple. It's actually a little disturbing. <laughs> Kalidus is uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's a yes, everyone, so at least maybe we're not stuck here forever. A good thing. <clears throat> okay. Um. So we don't know where head on his. We know there's a way out. We have four more questions. Ask how do we put the ordning back in place? That's a good one. Uh, how do I word it, though? Um, how do we fix the ordinary? How can the ordinary be fixed? In case it doesn't have to be a... Find a magic conch. Of the storm giant king Hecton. Use it to visit Hecton's court. Root out the evil therein. Okay. Yeah, okay, uh, that was a bit more information than I thought we were going to get. <laughs> find, find a magic item. Hecton's root? Hecton's corpse. Okay. Conch. Conch, conch. okay, that's my. I, I could, that word. was the only word I could not make out through the distortion. Can I? If I've been saying his name, name yeah, on it's, it's Hecaton. Okay, cool. Glad that <laughs> I made myself look like an ass to the oracle. Um, <clears throat> okay, so find a magic conch of the storm team. Hecaton needs to visit Hecaton. Quartz, not corpse. Root out the evil. Okay, that's three. We have three left. How ask do you where get we rich can find, quick? I'm kidding. Ask where we can find a magic conch of the Storm King, Storm Giant King. Even Caleb is we're not going to get that answer. We should still ask, just in case. Yeah, we should ask. All right. Unless you have another three questions that you nope. feel more pertinent. <laughs> nope. All right. We did, uh, we did not prepare for this. No, we did not. <laughs> We've known about it for three sessions. Had no way. No planning. Um, Oracle, where do we find a magic conch of the storm giant King Hecaton? In the clutches of the giant giants. In the clutches of the giant wards? Giant lords. Oh. They'll be super happy to give them a, give it up. Uh, God, I can't I can't ask a question. There are giant lords outside this room. Do those count? Well, assumedly, Blagoth the Confib is Blagothus. a giant lord. Yeah, Blagothus is a giant lord. No, he's not. Is. Oh, well, fine. Then I guess she's whatever. Okay. Um, Ask for the names and locations of the giant lords. What are the names of the giant lords? Yeah. And throw in location if you want to. I mean, maybe our friend here knows that information? Pointing over at Harshnog. He nods at you. Yeah. We, we do have a giant resource here. See, this is why you're here, Kaladis. We would have <laughs> wasted all these questions on stupid <laughs> stuff. Where can I find a bow that can kill gold dragon? King we are gold? not asking that, Perith. Um, why? Okay, I have one. You would still have to hit me with, even if you had some fancy bow. Oracle, who killed Queen Neri? Mm. Mm. 
That is such a good question. <laughs> so good, I'm not going to answer. Figure it out yourself. Piss off. I feel like I'm like digging into the plot now. That is <laughs> such a good question. They they have to account for you asking that question. It would be it. It is not in here. Mm, but wow, mm, wow. But, but deception from within. <gasps> you want to clue us in on that deep gasp? I mean, it's politics, right? <clears throat> I mean, well, it could mean that someone from the Storm King's court did it. But we're down to one last question. I didn't parrot say she wanted that one. I don't think she. I don't think it matters whether she wants it or not. <laughs> That's fair. Also, be careful when you ask questions there, Kaled is in the circle. Even if you're posing them in our direction. A dick oracle would have answered it for us. <laughs> yeah, dick to you would have completely boned me. Um... Mm -hmm. I think I'm digging. I need to stop digging into the story. Otherwise, it's going to get more cryptic by the second. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't look for story clues. That's a yeah, absolutely choice. look for story clues. I I'm okay with you asking questions that aren't on here. I will do the best I can to answer. Uh, I could ask about the vision I had last night. I think we kind of squared that away. Well, that it was the banner. Well, we got that much, but it did tell us that we had to go somewhere. I think we're good just going there. Okay. I mean, any suggestions? Um, <laughs> what is the fate of Bear Team? <laughs> yes, that's good. <laughs> Not wasting the question. That was out of character. <laughs> nope. I was just getting ready to tell you. They're dead. They're all dead. <clears throat> um. <sighs> yeah. Did Guy Everyman's family really love him? No. Ooh. Do we really want to know that? <laughs> oh. We were oh, using oh, him oh, for oh, his oh, gold. Oh, oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one. What? What? Uh, what? The, the fucker we were looking for. Artist Simber. That has the ring of winter. We what could ask him? about him. We don't know where he is. We can ask where he is. Do we need to know where he is? He has the ring of winter. That seems important. Unless somebody else has something else. By all means. Oh! Maybe, maybe, uh, wait. If it's given to a frost giant, though, that makes him immortal. I feel like that'd be a really bad thing. <laughs> Unless yes. that's what you're getting at. Or, I mean, I can either ask about Artist Simber or I can ask about the Ring of Winter itself. Uh, I'll help you and say I wouldn't ask the Oracle of the All Father questions about small folk. Okay. But a magic item is a small folk. A magic item that Frost Giants are actively looking for? That seems very giant related. What I think about, we're also stretching what about, this. What about it? What about uh, it's an oracle? So oracles tend to give guidance. What if we ask, like, what's the best course of action to take in helping with the ordning? Sure. Bit ambiguous, but I'll ask. I mean, it's an oracle, so it's going to give us something. I mean, I'll do it. You don't, you, don't uh, ask, you don't ask an oracle what the lotto numbers for tomorrow would be. They should do this. What? This question right here. This is what they should be asking. Kidding. Everybody agreed on that? Sure. Yeah, that Sounds or... Sounds like the best one so far. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 
Um, uh, thank you, warnings. Oracle, what would be the next step in repairing the ordining? You must prove yourself. When human barbarians came to these lands, they fought our kind and stole our relics, buried there in the ground. The humans built altars to Utgard, their god king, atop these relics and surrounded their altars with burial bearings. Go to these mountains, retrieve one or more of our lost artifacts, and bring them here as tribute. Do this, and your path will be made clear. There are many paths to take. The more relics you deliver, the more paths you will have to choose from. Several evil giant lords stand ready to oppose you. You can ruin all of their plans by defeating just one. Which one? That remains to be seen. Ooh, options. Okay. Okay. Do. Good question. Good. Thing. I have my moments. And with that, the final light goes out. All right. Let's wait twenty-four hours and ask for a question. No, I'm kidding. I would like to leave now. I am an uncomfortable. Oh yeah, and the door's about to close. Yeah, yes. you notice as you turn back and look at the door, it's kind of fading. The the power of it slowly <clears throat> beginning to go away. I run through. Is, Bye. Is yep. Igaron still there? Yep, Igaron's ghost is still there. <clears throat> or Bye. we we uh, hit the we hit the cloud wall and cannot move further. <laughs> Agarod, <laughs> we will seek out your father to avenge you. Uh, Start running to the door. <laughs> okay. We we will be back. Yep, totally we'll be back. As uh, we've been told we'll be, be back. Mm -hmm. We need to come. Bye. Out. Have a good sleep. See you I don't later. Know. I don't know. What you so, okay. Uh, and with that, we'll end our session for the night. We got lore. And, and we're not completely dumb. Hey, hey, Hopper. <laughs> I got yeah. something for you. <gasps> Before. Yes. What is How it? many times have you killed me with a boulder in this campaign under Icarus? <laughs> Three times. Three times. It just keeps happening. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's a good idea. No, I wanted to do a little something different because I knew they didn't have uh, they didn't have anybody that could read the runes, so I wanted to give them somebody that could help them along. Still gotta figure out how the hell to so. get out of here. Yeah, that's, that's, that's something. There are hidden passages, so we're just going to go start feeling all the walls, guys. I guess that's what needs to happen now. Touch the walls. Uh, no, there are boulders in those walls. No thanks. <laughs> that's what you think. <laughs> that's what I know. <laughs> we got we got to go trigger that one again and check the wall behind it, man. You go have fun with that. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, going to end stream, and then I'll be right back. Bye. Bye, stream. Bye, stream.